80? Or eight on die if we are. Hey, I think we lost. Alright, computer. I'm having a hard time with life right now, so, you know. What's happening, everyone? I'm here for a short minute without Dan, so I'd like to thank everyone for being here, and he's not feeling super well, so it's probably going to be the lowest energy Dan you've ever seen tonight. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, we're going to have a pretty chill live stream. Um, we'll be talking about the giveaway. Apparently, I think there are 45 bottles in it. We talk about that later, um, and then we're just going to kind of catch up on all the slacking we've been doing and not live streaming. So we had our, oh no, is it really off? No, uh, wait, it sh what? No, it, mm. Dan's working. What the? We're hearing me in Dan's mic. All right, perfect. So this one is Foxville. Awesome. Let me try to fix that. So you're hearing me out of that mic. All right. Apparently my mic is broken. What? What? Your mic is? Yeah. Shocking. Was two the fucked up one? Yeah, it was. I think four was too, wasn't it? I, dude, they're all fucked up at this point. Hello, hello, hello. Can, can you me? Okay, it might be this cable. Uh, is it plugged in? Yeah. Your mic is working. This is the mic that I just streamed with over there. <laughs> the camera mic is hot? What the? Video capture device. Oh, is that that? Why is it not? That's on? a capture card. That's what that means. Yep. Where? Where are the stream? Where, where is this? The actual mic staff, though. They're not even on here. What do you want? The sound warning? Yeah. That's not an input. It should be the audio input capture. Nothing. Is that? Is it hidden? Nope. It's not hidden. Uncheck that again. Oh. Nope. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah. Okay. So then we can just. No, no, no. Just mute it down there. It's just, well, you don't yeah, no, it's muted now. How did that get turned off? How? We don't ever use anything but this soundboard or that soundboard over there. Well, no, over here we only use one soundboard. Oh, she's probably hot right now. She's a hot gal. A hot All right. So you guys were apparently hearing me. Dan's just coming in here, messing every setting up. I want you guys to know that. Yeah, they, didn't have the settings, right? they were fine. They're what, really not. what was wrong with the settings? Oh, no, I'm at the camera settings. I'm oh. not. I'm not whoa, 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 whoa. Like, says the guy who couldn't even do the damn thing, dude. It was so warm. It was too warm. Turned it down 200K. 4,500? It was at 43, now it's 41. <laughs> it was so warm, dude. Now it's too dark. I did turn yeah, the ice I, I know you turned the ISO down. You could have said it was too dark. Uh, that's what I meant. You didn't say that. Uh, well, what I said was, hey, Dan, stop meshing. Meshing? Better or worse? You know what? I think that's better. Do about, like, it's 800. It wasn't 800. It was too bright. Nope. Yep. Obviously not. You it's dropped it. It's at 640 now. Oh, yeah, dude. That's better. Here she is. Well, what? That part of our problem here, dude, that is just pointed up <laughs> the roof. Did you hit that with a golf ball? I, no, I, no, I did not hit it with a golf ball, dude. Did you the other day when you were in here losing my RCT Titleist Pro V1? I didn't lose a single one of those. I just found it. Oh, that wasn't me. The one that I lost went over that way, and I went and found it. So. Oh, Man, why, hello, that. everybody. Welcome back. It's a live stream. I meant to blow my nose inside. I didn't do it. I got to do it. I'm super sorry, Dan. Well, I do know. What do you want me to do? Dan is, like I said, Dan's a little sick. He's going to be a little, little tired as F, he would say. A little low on the energy. It's been a long day. Been a long week. Been a long life. So we're going to be chilling out tonight. 
Uh, just kind of having a good time. We're going to, I know I said this, but you probably didn't hear me. Um, oh, shit. We're going to recap the Jack Daniels trip that we had oh. like a month ago. Um, we're going to recap the Buffalo Trace trip that we just had, and then we'll be talking about the the giveaway, which I do believe there are 45 bottles in. Um, yeah, Luke, here. It's I'm going to pin it right at the top because Luke's... Buddy. Can I pin from here? The amount of fluid... In your lungs? It came out of my body. <laughs> pin message. Oh, dude, is it too blue now? Is it not warm enough? Where are we at? I hate you. What do you think? I liked it exactly where it was at, right. but and don't. I'll bump it. I'll bump it. I'll bump it. <laughs> I'll take things that aren't necessary for 400, Alec. This one is literally called Underwater. I swear to God, dude, a preset. You put it on a preset instead oh, of the custom? No, I accidentally didn't push over to get the temp. And I went up and it said Underwater Auto. Look at that, dude. That's 4,200. We dropped her down one hundo. From where she was at. Oh. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Another last year. I've been talking to holding like hey, that all week. You know what? Blast. I just want to share with everyone that I got a George T. Stag at the distillery. The last one. Yep. You got a bottle of George T. Stag. <clears throat> now, is it a water bottle that says George T. Stag? Yes, but yes, do I own it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> Sean didn't choose me. In theory, I chose Sean. He just went along with it. <laughs> so he did kind of get stuck. Oh. Life choices we all make, Chrissy. And they're bad ones sometimes. Dude. You right, dog? I think I broke my rib. Doing what? I don't know, but it hurts like a bitch right here. Yeah, let me try. Yeah, it feel, well, feel it. It feels like a rib. It doesn't Oh, feel, let me check. Yeah. Oh, it feels like ribs. It feels bruised. Yeah. That's the one, isn't it? Liz, look at... Hey, Liz, we're, look. We're going to try your samples out tonight. Look, Liz, we're going to do that tonight on the live stream. Welcome back again. Another live stream, obviously. Third time's the charm, they say. Fifth. Fifth time. This is definitely the fifth Speaking time. Speaking of fifth, how many are we going to kill tonight, chat? Zero. All of them. Daddy's exhausted. You would die. And haven't... You couldn't finish that shelf. What's my time frame? Tonight. Oh, no. No. I mean, you could, but you're going to have to throw up every... No. Other bottle? I don't even think so. I don't think. I think you. I think that soaks in way too quick. No, I think you throw it up. Chug, throw up. That's Chug, not, throw no, up. No. There's a lot of barrel proof on there too. Drink it uh, responsibly. Consume alcohol responsibly. Be an adult, obviously. Don't be a fucking idiot. You have I mean? a little bit of water. All right, guys. Here's the thing. We've been on two trips. What have you covered, dude? I blew my nose. Whole uh, literal planetary amount of asteroids. I explained everything while you were blowing your I nose, and you were going over there going, Woo! Yeah. It was, yeah. I became a new man. Woo! My sinuses went, ha, ah, like that. I did get a whole mason jar of water, too. That catch a niner in there is what I said when you were blowing your nose. <laughs> Dude, that was a lot for real. Like, I, you know when you feel stuffy, you're like, I need to blow it. And then you every blow morning. it, and you go, oh. I blow my nose. Four times every morning. Oh, you're an old man, buddy. Allergies, We're baby. going over Sean's uh, stretches today. Yeah. His hip stretches, swear to well, God. Lack of, uh, laugh that. lack of hip mobility. Um, no, Not good internal hip rotation. We're working on that. It's what we would call embarrassing. Somewhere between a 75 and 92-year-old man. 100%. Level of flexibility. Pre-physical therapy, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Post-op hip surgery, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, Nicholas Jones says, have no fear. I am. He missed. He could have said I am. And that would have been a really cool, like, superhero tagline. And he didn't do it. And that's a huge fail. You're on Nick's part. My mm -hmm. gosh. That Keep going. Thanks for the 41 months, dude. Can't believe I've even heard Nick's name for that long. And Boyer said, uh, as dorky as you two are, the love runs deep. Thanks, buddy. What you got for what me? What the fuck, dude? How dare you call me a dork? Boyer, you son of a man. Whiskey Apiro. I'm like a shitty wizard uh, here. Excuse me. Use your big boy muscles now. Oh. I'm not going to lie. All those backbones, so fucking tight in there. Man, I was fucking tore. I tendon <laughs> in my elbow. Holy shit. Doing it as far away from my body as humanly possible, not the move. I don't secretly love Ambarana. I love the project we're working on, and it just happens to have Ambarana. It is... 
literally like 20% of the blend. Sean's, Sean's a closet Amarana lover. No. And you know what? You know what we say in this day and age? Come on out. We welcome all types around here. That's what we say. And you're still in that closet. You and, well, it was, it was a good R. Kelly joke until he, we found out who R. Kelly was. Ugh, yeah, getting a little de- darker Not there. Not as bad as Diddy, though, huh? <sighs> We're yeah. just getting into the big hitters yeah. tonight, heavy hitters. All right, so you explained the GoFundMe. Not quite yet. Okay, perfect. It's pinned at the top is what I, I got to. I, I said that okay. we had been off for a couple of weeks. We we're going to reset, talk about the Jack trip like a month ago. We're going to talk about the Buffalo Trace pick. Yep. And along the way, we'll be talking about the GoFundMe up for Cheech. Okay, really quick. So I would like to say. Love you, Rob, with the five gifted subs. You gave one say thank buddy. you. Dan Lee needs a liquid IV drip. We got to re-up our liquid IV thing. We do. Hey, use the code. When you buy liquid IV. If they ever use code bourbon junkies around a holiday, it's 25% off too. They always bump it. They always bump it. And we're supposed to tell you guys that's just so much to do. So, um, just it. it's like that has to go on like Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and everywhere else. And then by the time the video we shot goes up on YouTube, it's not 25 anymore. So we look like idiots. It is not. Just <laughs> click it and then you can buy them there. Um, Dad, so happy to see your bottles hitting the shelves. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Uh, just one more bourbon for Super Chat. I can't figure it out. LOL. This is a ten dollar one. No, it is. Don't. That was okay. ninety nine. If you but want, don't Super Chat us. If you want money, go to Teachers. Then you got. If, if you want to be entered into the the running to win a bottle, I bet it's on your side, dude. I bet the chat is over there for most people. Yeah, probably. Do you think so. It's one of these two spaces. And you know what? 50-50, It's definitely not at the top or bottom. <laughs> so one of these sides very safe. Uh, there's a GoFundMe link and just do it there because Luke is tracking all of the things. Luke Stephens himself, Stephens doing all this work, all of it, literally. Um, he's going to be doing a random name draw at the end. There's like 45, 46, 47 bottles up for the giveaway. Luke has figured out how to manage all of these things at one time. It's incredible. You know, we ain't. <sighs> Hey, if you miss Night Stalker, That's all I got for it. <laughs> if you miss Night Stalker, um, Tuesday. Nope, today's Tuesday. Monday. If you miss that Monday, yesterday. there's some of those in there. But needless to say, there's a thinger at the top. You can click that. When you click it, it's going to take you to the chat. page. You're just going to go straight to the GFM, which is the Go Fuck Me. Once you hit that link, Did it's you gonna... say GFN or M? M? I thought you said N, That's and I was. That's why I was a little concerned that you thought the word me starts with an N. But you know what? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I don't think I don't think either outcome was good. So you can click that. Every Luke said every ten dollar donation to that GFM gets you an entry. Heard it that time. Good job. And then um, at the end of this, somewhere right around ten o'clock, if I'm alive by ten, ten o'clock, Luke is going to randomly pull forty X names. 40, however many bottles he has assembled. Okay. Luke has assembled the Avengers of the whiskey Excel sheets. It's a lot of shit, yeah. Um, there's a lot of, There is a lot of cool shit in there, but he's going to do that. And then if I'm, again, if oh. I'm alive, we'll read the name. Ross, you're very right. Pop-out chat is supreme. Um, and then Luke's going to, if you if you won, you're going to get an email from the email you used in the GoFundMe donation. That's important. That was a really important part I remembered. <laughs> high five. You would high five yourself. You could high five. Yeah. I would have high five. You, you would have? Yeah. I thought you were going to give me you a high five yourself, which makes it a little weird. Uh, Nicholas, Dan travels for three days and gets sick. Nice immune system, Is loser. That Nick Jones? Yeah. <laughs> Never invited again, bitch. Have fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, Never, dude. Still have his barrel, too. Uh, Brad Smith, cheers, boys. Oh, Feel dude. better soon, Cheech. What's up, Nick? You ready to never have that whiskey again? Dan, you okay, Brad? Cheers, Junkie. Let's support cheaters tonight. Oh. You say cheaters? cheaters. <laughs> Damn, bro. Cheech, I, I apologize, <laughs> Cheech. I am so fucking tired right I'll now, cheat too. if you want to support me Yeah, in Advent this year. Oh, when I, I, when I get 100% of the score right, it's going to be real I, thought of, I was thinking about this last night when uh-huh. I was a little introspective, you sure. know? I was like, I'm going to have Gabby be giving me blind shit every day in yeah. November. You got every it. Every day. The, there has to be a lead up. There has to be. Even though, weirdly, some would say without a lead up, we perform pretty well. Not a bottle guessing, but it's no. scoring. Don Thompson, good evening, boys. Welcome back. Thank you, buddy, for the soup chat. Appreciate you. Thank you. That's thank you, Don. 
Welcome back to you. It's at dude. 12K right now. It was at 10K when I was driving here. So thank you guys. You guys are already kicking that up. Oh, uh, big job, ass guys. notch. Okay, listen. Um, Your point floors are dirty. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I had to go get my boy some shorts. Yeah. That, well, that we talked about. Sean, carry my backpack. Bomb yeah. me shorts. Bomb me Jeremy. Bomb me water. He's dying. I consumed all of the things, changed into the shorts after that, napped. I wish you would have brought lived. the shorts out. They're in the wash. Yeah. Ricky unpacked like, the bag and started washing it. They're blue. They're awesome. Pink flamingos on it. Sean them. legit picked. Those are the easily to, to this very moment in my life, the greatest golf shorts that I own now. 100%. Yeah. And they were on sale. So win win. And, and they're legit actually golf shorts. Yeah. I, because the PGA Superstore is one of the very few stores that sells men's pants in the airport mm-hmm. at DTW. So. And. Like, the best part is I'll just actually wear it again. Yeah. Because, like, we've all been there. Well, actually, I was there in uh, Kentucky. Yeah. I bought that lion shirt oh, because yeah. I vomited yeah. heavily and sweated through everything. And when I bought that lion shirt, I've never wore that again. Want to know why? <laughs> Washed it once. Shit. It went to shit, You bought dude. it at, like, a dollar store, my guy. No, I didn't. It was a $35 shirt because Ooh. I bought it from a sports store. Ooh. So they had all of the sports teams. They had jer- I almost bought a jersey, but I'm like, I can't rock a jersey right now, dude. <laughs> just a jersey. Like, just a jersey. Nothing. Like when you're <laughs> shredded, you get to, you either have to be shredded or or pretty big. Yeah. Those there's no like me. Or going to a game. Like yeah, that's fair because yeah. everybody's wearing a jersey. Yeah. Hundred percent. When WDs with the two hundred two says hi, thanks, buddy. Uh, this is all evidence. I'm his second wife, so says my current <laughs> wife, my only wife. Yeah. Listen, Gabby. I'm gonna be honest. Um. Sean executed the plan, <laughs> and pretty quickly. I literally, after I walked out of the bathroom, I'd been vomiting in. Sean had already found sourced Dramamine and water and was in, then dropped them off and then was <laughs> in the midst of sourcing shorts. Yeah. It was incredible. I was talking to Gabby the whole time. It was incredible. When I was walking around. You're like, he almost died. Yeah. Sweating like a fucking, like I was I, legit in a 200-degree sauna. I have worked out with you many years. Never, sweated. never seen you sweat not that hard. Once, no, not a single I time. I one time ran six miles yeah. in my life when I was trying to get laid in college with Ricky. Yeah. And ran six miles, kind of found, she just let me have babies with her. It wasn't like, I didn't need to run six miles. You didn't miles. need to run six miles? Uh, I like how that's the cutting point. Like, yeah. I didn't do a half marathon. I didn't do a 5K. Oh, no, six I is the farthest six I've ever miles, ran. And then I was like, Fuck that no. shit. But the problem is, I ran that one that sweaty. Not once, dude. Yeah. Uh, Joe, we got a big congrats on Night Stalker Drop as well. Thank it's you, good buddy. movement on the Bear Brandy Bourbon Outfit, Rick. Thank Y'all you. are doing great shit. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it, bud. Um, the the Pear Brandy was our first public pick, but... Any big news for Bourbon in the Barn? It's happening. Yeah. It would be cool shit there this year. Okay, Bardstown. Can We're going to go to Steelers. Bardstown, Green River. Grand Traverse again. Grand Traverse is like just always welcome because they've been awesome and people have enjoyed them yeah. and they've enjoyed being there, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Um, these, those three are confirmed. Probably Ben Holiday. Mm-hmm. Penelope's coming. Um, there might be this giant distillery from Tennessee. Man, we're hoping so. We're working on it. We're hoping so. It's in um, the talks. That would be really cool. And then uh, ask Macaulay to come from Dark Arts, but they're not in Michigan. I really want everybody to meet Macaulay so bad. So bad. And that goddamn wizard. He's so fucking awesome. Macaulay is so... Oh, my... Dude, we have to talk about Dark I, Arts I read tonight. Rob Shields, and I, I, in my mind, I, I literally changed it to Rick Shields. I was like, what's he doing in here? <laughs> hey, Rick, you want a golf bitch? Uh, I'm just here for verbal abuse and charity. Thank That's you, fair. buddy. Me too. Uh, and then got Mr. Shooter. Cheers, guys. Sipping Rare Breed Rye tonight. Dan's favorite Ugh, rye. That's bad. Good you buck. should switch. <laughs> Holy shit. Cheers, Luke. Pick me for an Evernorth. Mr. Shooter hates himself. That whiskey's... It's pretty good. And then Don came bad. in with the 20 gifted subs. So if you say... If you get one, say thanks, Daddy. Don, that's a lot of subs, buddy. Thank you so much, that. man. Oh, um, Boyer again. Dan, see a doctor for stronger shit. Yeah, Boyer, um, like, knows some stuff. And he's like, have you ever tried this? And I was like, no. <laughs> I like how everyone goes to tickle. No. We didn't ask him. I would say larger. If anybody from Dickle watches the stream, they definitely would not show up because we've not been the kindest. Now... I'm about to pivot. Yeah. I'm about, and now I need, I need a bigger sample size, True. but I'm willing to pivot. Yeah. Based on one mash bill. Cause that shit is fucking awesome. One schmickle experimental mash bill. Was that? Ex- oh shit. Am I missing that part? It's experimental for them. It's not something they normally run. Shit. I mean, I missed that part. Oh yeah. Damn. Wow. What do they hate? Free money. Make, make one of the best things in the ever. We're talking about schmickle rye. 
apparently an experimental schmickle rye. Because normally they source MGP. They source MGP rye forever. Most yeah. of like the dickle rye on the shelf is all just um, MGP. The dickle rye that Sean and I are talking about is f- fucking awesome. It was a uh, rare character pick that Ryan did, um, and it we w- I would never guess dickle um, in any way, shape, or form. There's no minerality in there. Uh, it was fucking good. Oh, it's so it's it's like um, they instantly bought one. Yeah, yeah. And I th- I know that it was a super short barrel, so yeah. it wasn't like. I, we can't even help Ryan. I love Ryan. That loves bottle. short barrels, though. Ryan is the bougiest flavor motherfucker. concentration uh-huh. to the max. The bougiest motherfucker on the planet yeah. is what Ryan is. Uh, Daniel Nichols, you guys ever think of doing a Grand Traverse pick? Um, I don't no. know. Are they doing picks? You know what? I would have done a Grand Traverse pick of without a doubt. That uh, yeah. cherry smoked cherry yep. bar. That that one. Yeah, I can't think of. Me neither. Yep. Fuck I know it. where the bottle is. Incredible. Dude. It, I mean, it's one of the very few bottles that is still hidden at Evernorth. It's in the floor, it's dude. It's literally mixed into the foundation of Evernorth. Yeah. Yeah, that bottle's incredible, dude. Uh, that would be, that is one of the coolest Michigan distillates ever. Yeah. Probably will be forever, truthfully. But with the story behind it. Cherrywood smoked barley. Is that what it yeah, was? Yeah, I think yeah. you're right. I think you're right. Because I think it's a single malt. Mm-hmm. So I think that that's the right. Something like that. Yeah. It's that bottle's incredible. Um, What's up, in, what's up, Brandon? How are you, buddy? Uh, the, guess what? We're getting a parking lot. Everywhere. We are. That's cool. Very shortly. He's going to start working on Thursday. Um, Dan, that, like, told me how much his parking lot cost today. Different levels, though. Same first two numbers. Yeah. Why not the, just more zero. Just zeros. a zero, yeah. Just several, there's a comma. A lot bigger. Another comma. A lot bigger. Wild. Dude. And it's probably, like, Actual blacktop and stuff. Yeah. Well, he at one point he was like, "If that's how much it costs, just pave it." <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? If I'm already gonna have to spend that much yeah. money, just put something on top of it. Gosh. Okay. So Mercedes we have Mercedes doesn't do shitty parking lots. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't know if it's for a Mercedes dealership or not, but he just said that the number wasn't was. He goes, "That's it." And then he goes, "Well, I know that's still a lot of money, but but yeah, I'm not joking. Go then, go to Thalen, look at the Audi parking lot, yeah. brand new." All fresh black top. Go to fucking Kia. Is that? A little different. Really? Because mm-hmm. Kias are kind of coming up. Look Kia at, has hit a stride lately. Subaru. Well, now here's they the thing. They want you to test the off-road you gotta capability have, you gotta, as you drive it off the lot. If the Subaru parking lot isn't basically a fucking <laughs> rally course, yeah. that you did your marketing incorrectly. I, the difference is, is Subaru's obviously... That their mechanics cost twice the building out. That's the difference. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the difference. Yeah. Same cars. Different hourly rate. Yep. Adam McIntyre. Like the Apple, dude. Proud of you. Because it's like Macintosh. I'm so damn happy Dark Arts just dropped in Georgia. McCauley seems like the raddest dude. Trying to meet him while up at Kentucky Bourbon Festival this yeah, he's year. he's an awesome guy. McCauley is awesome. Now, we do have to talk about Dark Arts on this fine evening. Before we get into anything oh, else. Oh, that is it. So it's the 70 Tennessee Rye. Yeah, that'll be it. That'll mm. be the gal. Nick Jones says, can't wait to move the camper in. Nope. Uh, sorry, buddy. We're putting a, a shed where you're going to put the camper. Ugh. We've changed. Since Nick left, we've changed every lock, and we put a gate up. Mm-hmm. Uh, even over the ditches. Uh, I now have a staffed guard there. It's weird. <laughs> and there's armed security. There's just front. a sniper in the woods. <laughs> Trust me. Um, we have a drone. Thanks for the super chat, Nick. I want you to know that you, Nick wants an RV pad, put it ever north so he can come up and stay. That's what yeah. Nick actually wants. As the landlord, you'd think he'd be able to do that. Want to know what? Now, I will say, as the landlord, for he's... How long has he been our landlord for? Like a year. Yeah, over. A year and two months. Yep. First thing he's done to that building was sweep while he was up here. It was nice of him. I did appreciate that. First time ever. He also said he tried to sweep the parking lot. Yeah, he was bored and he was like, I don't know, you want me to sweep the parking lot? I said, knock yourself out, man. Dude, which is the funniest shit in the world. Ah. You hit that top chat to live chat. Oh, that does look nice though. That yeah, looks it's good. It's so much easier. Yeah, it is. You're right. It, plus, it was like, I can shoot through these and keep uh-huh. these ones up. I like that, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, do, 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 do. Did you read Boyer's? We did not le- read Mr. Schroeder's last one. His oh, 25. Well, or... Dan, well, Dan, it could be worse. Thank Guess you, I'm buddy. going to Malort on the Rocks next. I thought I was reading that wrong. Um, Hey, <laughs> hey. Because he's drinking rare breed rye. Who hurt you? <laughs> well, don't start with a bad thing and go to another bad thing. Go no, to a good the, thing. The, Literally the worst. Yeah. And Nick also said landlord slash slumlord. That's right. Boyer, if Nick is parking a trailer, I'm pitching a tent out back. I'm lowbrow. 
you know what? We can put a camping area in there. Yeah, it's you're gonna, it's going to be a premium. <laughs> so we have to keep somebody there to babysit. That becomes the issue. Yeah. Hey, Brandon. Yeah, I was going to say, mm, that's Brandon. How much we have to <laughs> just to sleep there <laughs> with strangers while they're drinking all night? Yeah, you know I mean, nice. Yeah. Damn, dude. Brandon's like, I'll stay there. You supply this, this, and this. I'm there. You know what I mean? Dude, 100% Brandon would be like, I will. And if something goes wrong, I need to know where I'm allowed to bury shit. Yeah. That's Brandon. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've learned a lot about good, Brandon. Honestly, the good news is if anything went wrong, you call 911. Right. They are there in two minutes flat. Yeah. The state oh, yeah. park, the state, the state is, police the state is. is two minutes away. Yeah. And when they just walk out, jump in a car that's been running all day. Yeah. Flipper to 200. <laughs> Dude. Instant. Oh, yeah. They're there. Tony S. said, sorry, I'm late. Get your shit together, dude. Hey, man, you're right on time. We were, we were on time as sh- Okay. No, you have to make them feel bad when they already feel bad. You're supposed to make people feel but bad. But we were late. The mics weren't on. I'm surprised <laughs> the camera was focused. Uh, Is if it? I'm, yeah. Do we even know? I focused it. Oh, okay. It's, it's 1080. It's they close. can't even tell. Yeah, same shit, dude. What's that? We'll be in the up- upload <laughs> bit right if it's fuzzy, guys. <laughs> Brandon said, I've slept there before. Also, I know those woods better than anyone. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Easy, Rambo. <laughs> yeah. What's that pile over there? I need you to look in a different direction yeah. right now. It's that weird we smell don't talk about the bonfire. That. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Um, all right. Really quick, before we move on, I want to talk about dark arts. There's breaking dark arts news. Besides our pick being the best dark arts pick that's ever been picked by anybody. Um, the little drummer boy himself. Oh, you did pick Cameron, some call him. Some also call him Drams and the Drummer, I believe is his YouTube channel name. Nope. <laughs> Went and picked the 10-year MGP at Dark Arts. How much you want to fucking bet it's a sister barrel? And I want everybody to know I will be buying one of these, and I will be shitting on it out of – not out. well, you know what? I'll keep – Reciprocity of I don't want to I don't want to shit on it because I will like Macaulay and be like ah it smells like nine years yeah yeah it smells like Richard Shockley welcome to BJ fam appreciate you being here thanks for the membership I had to say something because I felt like Dan was gonna get real rude real fast no I don't want to say I won't shit on it because I because Macaulay's my boy yeah I'm gonna tell Cam it's worse than ours is what I'm gonna tell him. easily it already is have to drink it nope don't even have to look at it it's like Freddie said there's no such thing as sister barrels. You don't know what stave of that tr- of where the tree's coming from. That was interesting. Yeah, that was really interesting. He was like, when we when staves are made and they set out in the the rick or like out in the um, well, if they're doing open air aging, maybe they're just stacked up into you know staves and they just chilled there. All right, you don't know at what point of what part of the tree either the top. He was talking about Buffalo Trace taking one tree and separating it from the top half from the lower half. Yeah. And making a barrel just out of the lower half and the top half of the same tree, filling them the same day, putting them in the exact same place in a rick house, yep. and then tasting them after nine years, and they tasted wildly different. Which that part doesn't make any sense to me, truthfully. It's literally the same fucking tree. It's just different parts of the tree. Man, I know, but that was the part that where it hit that it was like, well, you doesn't, can't make the same thing. Doesn't matter. Yep. Because they said same distillate, same day. Yeah. Barreled same. So it was like, it wasn't like, well, we distilled this and then we distilled this and they're the same mash bill. No, <laughs> same person distilling on the same day under the same, same condition. Same line. Wild. Tony back and notice, we need another five guys, one couch. Maybe ask Cam. When Cam comes up um, to do the pick, we are going to do something with him. <laughs> Bukaki. All right. Oh, uh, Dan Rudnick. Oh, there goes everyone. Feel behind everyone. Sure, best camping Airbnb ever. Uh, Dustin Ballou with the 10 memberships. If you say, if you get one from Dustin, say, thanks, Daddy. Dustin, thank you, buddy. I can't wait to literally jump all your dicks um, into Dustin's pool someday. I can't wait. That's some some big poppy chilling shit there. To his yeah. house, I assume. Cigar, uh-huh. whiskey. You're going to light the cigar, then jump in the pool like a dummy. <laughs> Probably. Really yeah. And I'm going to have to look at him and be like, hey, can I get one more? Uh-huh. I'm so sorry, dude. Magic Masters, fellas. Cheech, hope you get better soon. That's why we're here. We'll be supporting, supporting Cheech a little bit. We got the GoFundMe at the top. Donate there. Every $10 gets you uh, an entry to one of the 50-ish bottles. I, think I don't know they, how many there are. I think when Cam... Ish. You know how everybody takes pictures of a barrel pick? Like, here was who was... This is who picked it. Yeah. It was so much fun. I think I'm going to... Hold Cam like I hold my daughter. Like this. 
Like a baby. You, know, you got to scoop under his body. And I might just kiss his forehead. You got to like one arm him. Yeah. Like put him on your hip. Yeah. Oh, just, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, like, like he's sitting right toddler? there. Yeah. And I'm just going to give him a little kiss right on the forehead. I think you can do it. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. he weighed 97 pounds, he said. <laughs> I think that's what he told me he weighed. Something like that. Uh, JK on the Malor and the Rocks. This stuff is nasty. I'm actually going to New Richmond <laughs> Rye. <laughs> it's a favorite of mine from the 45th Parallel Distillery. Check the muscle. I've never heard of that. I haven't. Oh, I haven't either, dude. But Funk too. Where do you think the 44th parallel is? <coughs> like, are there, is that a thing? You know how we have an equator? Yeah. I asked you that question, like, you might not know, which is funny. Um, so, <laughs> dude, oh, man, I, Brandon told me the, I'm not going to repeat it on here, but the Ryan thing, not Elvis, the, only, the Ryan you and I know. Mm-hmm. Funniest shit I've ever heard in my <laughs> life, dude. I feel like that bar's low then, That right? was funny. Yeah. But I just asked you if you knew that there was an equator. So <laughs> um, uh, how many parallels are there? I honestly don't know. Hey. That's a good question. I so, don't know. Luke, does Dan make anyone else uncomfortable besides Cam, says Chrissy Newberry. Chrissy, if Cam feels comfortable around me, we've got a huge problem. Because that means he feels too in love. You so you can mean? tell me how many parallels there are. What's up, Copeland? How you doing, you beautiful son of a bitch? You know we have an equator. That's right. a wild question, dude. Isn't that, it? That's that, on me. that hit me like right in the front that. of the, the yeah. head, and you you know we have an equator, right? I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. I I'm would gonna... guess ninety, but that's blind guess because I mean, going. Hey, oh, Chrissy said one eighty. She just doubled it. Or one eighty one. I don't believe any of you. You know. were doing one hundred eighty degrees, which would make sense. Travis said there's one hundred eighty one, dude. I don't believe anyone now. I don't believe anybody in chat. Well, yet zero. 89, 360. They're all just random numbers at this point, dude. Parallels are actually not real. They're a figment of your imagination. There are 181 parallels on Earth, including the equator. Oh. The poles, which would be zero. Obviously. Uh, yeah. Clearly. Okay. Thanks, guys. I still don't know the answer, but I appreciate everybody in chat. So 90 on the top half. I know, but everybody's answer is different. 90 on the bottom half. Zero around. So that's the one. So it's 180 I would assume. plus one. Yeah. Well, plus zero, which counts. It's like when you count one as a number. The fun part, even if the, the earth was flat, we would still have parallels. Dankers, good week. Two night stalkers. A pair of brandy today. Congrats on what you guys are doing. Dankers, I appreciate you, buddy. Size 12 Jordan 1's inbound for the pours in the park custom. I Fuck. like to hear yes, it. Yes, dude. Hell yeah. That's cool as hell, dude. I'm going to have to get some new shoes for pours. Um... Those uh, those Air Maxes that uh, Grease was wearing, I can be six two that day. Yeah, hundred percent. I got a pair that's two inches. It is. It adds an inch and a half to two inches of your height. Those are those black ones I was out in the mud with. Oh yeah. Those add. They add a little. Those are ugly shoes. They don't add girth, but they add length. All right. You know what I mean? No, no. are not my jam. Well, I know but you don't know actually until you hit the ice walls. <laughs> but you gotta you gotta understand fashion, right? Yep. To get the shoe game, and so. When you understand fashion, you understand that ugly's cool, cool's dumb, and dumb's cool as fuck. So that's why, like, so many of the off-whites are so stupid, but they're worth a kajillion dollars because they're the dumbest thing on the planet, which makes them the coolest. When do you think you hit the age that you you switch from the... When I die. No, 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 no. It's the, like, the generational things. Like, they just don't understand us. Uh Uh-huh. And then to, I don't understand them. Like, what age do you hit? 70. All right. I thought it's for me for right now. <laughs> it is. Some of that Gen Z shit I know, going but on. you have an old soul. Fucking A, man. Old souls get that early. Like, you and Luke, I bet, feel real similar on that stuff. Where you look at that and you go, that's the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. And everybody's like, those are pretty fucking cool. <laughs> I am like a four-year-old at heart and mind. Just not physically. You know what I mean? Just rip that in the mic. What? Just rip that in the mic. No, Sean. Both right. Where were we? We were in the car. Sean ripped seven farts in that car, dude. They weren't stinky. Oh, it was fine. He farted. It was just goes, hot air. It's not gonna stink, dude. They, like, did they roll the fucking window did down they? right now? No, they didn't. No, we rolled the, every window in the car down. It was dude. just some hot air, dude. Turn that into a every ventilation. Every factory. Night, I told you. You know when they're stinky. Sean, t- Sean taught me that if you don't fart when you have to fart, your uh, your blood absorbs <laughs> it and then you breathe it out of your lungs. He thought I was fucking with him. Sean told me that and i was like you're full of shit come find out google nah. agreed with sean which i don't know what that means but that's pretty wild no no nathan i i know when they stink trust me i know you know when they're a little hotter we did you're talk, like, yeah. a little oh, warm a little warm Ew. um 
Okay, so <laughs> Sean mentioned we went to Jack Daniels. Yeah. We haven't even discussed that. We have not. We That's went a, on. Listen, you guys. We went on back. a fucking adventure, Dora the goddamn explorer. Yeah, we did. Method. Uh, we went to Jack <laughs> on a press trip. Too early, Jimmy. And then we went to Buffalo Trace. Back to back days. Two picks. Back to back. And we went to the new Bardstown spot downtown Louisville. To do another did a pick. pick down there. Those are the things, that the events that have happened over the last little time, a uh, little bit of time. And so we'll, those are the things we're going to discuss. Sean mentioned oh. those things earlier. 45th is in Wisconsin, by the way. 45th what? The, the distillery. 45th distillery is in New Richmond, Wisconsin. on the 45th parallel? Yeah, dog. That'd be kind of cool. I wonder which one we're on. Man, you realize that there could you just be... You understand Wisconsin and... Uh, like, we're here, yeah, and they're here. Yeah, but if there's 180 of these things, I assume they're all over the place. They go around this way. Longitude goes up and down. Oh, latitude goes shit. around. Shit. I thought they went. That would be longitude. Th- those words don't matter to me yeah. at all. Longitude, latitude, or whatever, yeah. don't matter. One's long, one's lat. So, around. So, we would be on the 45th. Because the equator. Yeah. How many? Nope. No. I almost said a question <laughs> I should not say a lot. 90. No, I almost said how many equators are there, dude. <sighs> a one. Yep. I knew the answer. Do you know what the other one is? What? Is it the Mason-Dixon? Is that the... The line? Yeah. Yeah, the old line. That's where the war was. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I just... Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's talk. Long we talked about dark arts. I hope Cam's pick's good. And actually, I'm really happy somebody else did one of those. Because... Prime Meridian. Wow, you were not. What did I say? Mason, Mason Dixon? Dixon? Which one? Is, what's the Mason Dixon? Uh, that's a real Southern thing. It's a thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mason, Mason Dixon line. It's in like songs and shit. Yeah. 100%. It's in country songs. We can <laughs> convince, the world. We can convince Dan the earth is flat by the end of this street. No, dude. Maryland in Pennsylvania. All right, nah, fuck. Nah, nah. Oh, Dixon. that's the Civil War. Damn. All right. I told you there was a war. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Did I get that right on accident? The Mason Dixon, yeah. I didn't actually know there was a war there. Mason Dixon Civil sounded war. so southern that I'm like, had to be Midland a war. Midland is 43rd parallel. You guys have to give me credit or for latitude. being smart for a second. That's wild. That is insane. Isn't it crazy? Every time I see the word Civil War written in chat, I think Captain America. <laughs> Isn't that wild, dude? Yes. It's so crazy. Oh. Uh, these guys run multiple companies. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You know what? They're appreciate not. you being here. A map company, obviously. <laughs> we do got to do a map label one time. And it's got to be fucked. You know what I mean? One map label. It's when we go do a Penelope uh, pick, right? Yep. And it's just going to be a New England joke. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair, actually. Oh, dude. Um, I've, I've just learned so many things lately that my brain's overwhelmed <laughs> with nonsense. I've learned about fart breathing. I yeah. learned about New England. Yeah, I learned about one. Ontario. Those yep. were big. And then uh, <laughs> while we were in Kentucky, I learned something else. And they I learned remember about learning it. Providences. Providences. Yeah, I, I learned about Canada word. states. Yeah. Um, they just used a dumb name. <laughs> when this become world geography junkies? Eric, it clearly never. Will be. never. <laughs> clearly. So what we wanted to say is we went to Tennessee. We did. Right. We were on a press trip. Jack with brought us out. Jack Daniels. Very cool. Uh, phenomenal time. Jack uh, invited us out. Yep. Truthfully, they covered everything. They were awesome. Yep. Uh, we Day were there one, with, we stayed in Nashville. Which? Th- th- I did not eat really that much. And I was like, hey, let's go get mm-hmm. some food real quick. And sure. he goes, I don't know. And then eventually I was like, all right, let's go. He goes, all right. Um, is it Nashville Barrel Co. that we went? We yeah. went to Southern the first oh, night. Oh, Southern Collective. Yep. We went to Southern Collective the first night. And Danny goes, let's stop in. They close at 7. We have a couple pours, then go get dinner. We just figured, grab a drink, leave, grab food, hotel, pass the fuck out. That so was at, truthfully the at thought. At 10.30, when I could no yeah. longer speak words <laughs> into a sentence, <laughs> we left. So we walk into Southern, and we've never been there. Uh, I've, cool, I've, cool place, actually. Um, we have the one. Adam Shelton sent us a Southern Collective bottle. Yeah, that little. That little, the, he wrote Better, Better Real on it. Yeah. And uh, because it was aged next to an Amarana barrel, which is yeah. wild. But uh, he sent us that, and it was like, oh, shit. When we were in the Uber on the way in, I saw we passed it. And I'm like, when I saw National Barrel Co. was closed, I was like, that's a bummer because that yeah. would have been cool to hit. And then it was like, shit. We walk in. We're just like, hey, he's at, um, the guy walks up, greets us. Yep. And he goes, you guys just want to do drinks here? 
And we're like, yeah, that'd be great. Like whatever. And he's like, it's like 10 more bucks to drink out of the barrels. Yeah. We're like, oh, it was like, we could, it. we could fuck around and bullshit up here with bottles or we can just go in the back and you guys can kind of see where we're at with things. I was like, yeah, let's go do that. He says $10 more to yeah. have the drinks like with the barrels. And I didn't. Stuff. It was like, I didn't know how much that this cost, but for 10, I would do that. Yeah. So we walk back and then he's like, it's 90 or 100. We're like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Couldn't find out 10 bucks. It just didn't matter, anyways. Um, but when we got back there, uh, the guy put labels on. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Watch the channel. Super cool, tight. dude. And he ended up like, he, he ended up staying late. Yeah. Texting their blender. Yeah. Their blender came in. Ryan, right? I think there were it was two Ryan. Ryan's. Yeah. Two Ryan's. Ryan was the blender. Yep. And, and then and Ryan was the guy up front, I thought yes, too. Yep. And then Ty was yep. the the guy putting on labels. Yep. Okay. And so names. So Ty and Ryan ended up staying. And then eventually, I was like, we had both said several times, like, you guys just kick us fuck out. Like, we just walked here. We'll just walk back to the hotel. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Well, because they're they're at work, not work, like not having yeah. to be at work. And It'd be like, like if people walked into Evernorth and we're like, hey, you can just come back here and we'll we'll do some yeah. samples for a while. And then four we're like, hours hey. go by. Go home. Yeah. <laughs> in four hours. Well, then they kept giving us cool pours. One of them is that um, weeded Kentucky over there that I really, that toasted the weeded. That toasted one. Yeah, yeah. That was really good. Yeah. At one point, Sean tried to say something to all four of us or three of us. And I looked at them and I go, we got to get this fucking dude food. <laughs> yeah. Now. Daddy has had 300 calories today and then uh, about 400 calories of bourbon. Yeah. And so. flown. So we're all dehydrated and shit. <sighs> But that being said, once we did that, um, they they drove us in there side by side. Yeah, they got a sick ass side by side in downtown Nashville, which was so fucking cool. They have like a rigged out side by side, and they drove us back to a, a, the very nice hotel that Jack had put us in. Yeah, in a side by side. Yeah, it was the Omni, which was so fucking awesome, dude. So that was fun. And then we Jack picked us up the next day. Yep. We had a bus. And then yep. I do you remember the historian's guy's name? I don't. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry too. And I like I was thinking about it the other day. I'm not a history guy. Uh, it problem. was very interesting though, though what he was saying. Yeah. I, I honestly like that. Uh, most um, people come find out aren't me and enjoy history. Yeah. Um, so like I would say 80% of the way from, uh, Nashville Lynchburg, their, their historian guy, um, was just going through like a bunch of history that was off tour information. Yeah. I would say like we've done the tour twice and I didn't hear a lot of what he was talking about in that like presentation setting. So it was super cool. Um, very history rich. Um, you know, what was cool? The, the, the birth date nonsense, mm -hmm. Jack's birthday. Yeah. That no one knows his actual birthday because yeah, that's it's cool. listed like after his mom died. Yeah. Yeah. His tombstone says he was born after his mom dies. His, yeah. I don't know if it was birth certificate or something. Something else had said that he was born like two years after his mom passed away. Yeah. So they were like going, trying to figure out the dates. That part was pretty cool. That's actually wild, wild. but yep. uh, we got to Jack. Jack is just a cool place. Always. It's a great vibe every it's time you're town. there. Yeah. You're in a, you're just, Jack Daniels is a city, truthfully. Cool. And, and, <laughs> and it's like the coolest, like Lynchburg is tiny. Yeah. And Jack is huge. 361 people. And so, yeah, and Jack employs 700 and something, they said. Yeah. And, and so 60% of them are generational. Yeah. It's such a cool place. We got to do a cool tour. We've done part of that tour before, but not the whole We time. have, um, but we were there on a Tuesday, and that's the day that they shut down the stills. Um, so, like, people could take pictures and stuff in there, which yeah. is cool. We got to light the, uh, we got to make Jack Daniels yeah, like charcoal. char, which, or charcoal, which is cool. Had a nice Jack and Coke slushy. Oh. That was good. That was real good. That was really good. Yeah. And apparently, I'm, if you do a tour, I, that little bus thing stays there. So that starts the tour for you. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't know. It wasn't there the first time we did no, it. No, I think it's new. A new edition. To Great the tour. edition. Yeah. 100. That's a 10 out of 10 edition right there. Yeah. You get a Jack and Coke or what? Jack and Lemonade or something? Right yes. There? And I went Jack and Coke and Same. it was in slushy form and it saved my life that yeah. day. So, um, but we got to burn the, the, like their stave things down. Which was cool to build the charcoal. the charcoal. Yeah, and then we got to meet somebody awesome at Jack. Mm -hmm. He was so cool. Byron was like, so he's on their tasting panel. Yes, yeah. he's a he's, master. He's done like everything. Taster Jack. there. He's done cooperage. He's built he's the done barrels. Distilling. He started in the cooperage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I and then moved he his way with through the company. Fletcher now, to some extent, yeah. it seems like. Yeah, he's like starting to learn the distilling side of things. Yeah. Awesome dude. Very cool. And 
seemingly knows absolutely everything. Andy loves Jack Daniels Rye. And if he's going to be moving into more of a, a, a forefront yeah. for Jack, keep pushing that shit. Cause it's yeah. great. He, um, we got to tap a barrel with him of Jack Rye. And yeah. Drink it out of the barrel. And he did it by hand too. Yes, like a hand did. drill. I was like, oh. yeah. Cranked, cool. cranked it with his hand. Yep. And uh, uh, also less, uh, he said, wishing you the best, Cheech. If you are looking to get into the the giveaway, we appreciate the soup chat. But uh, the 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 giveaway is all running through the GoFundMe at the top. So if anyone's joining right now and looking to get in, that is at the top. Yep. Just reiterate that a couple times through there. Do we miss Angel Barrel? Anybody? Maybe. Jeff Kiss. Oh, evening, sorry, boys. Jeff. Please stop making great whiskey before my wife leaves me. Cheers. Cheers, <laughs> buddy. Let's all take care of our boy Cheech tonight. Thank you for the super chat, man. Sean just covered that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jimmy Copeland said, "I I did say Jimmy is too early for that. We're gonna we're gonna circle back to that. But Jimmy, Jimmy said, did give us the best handy of my life. Is it too early? Say I gave both the best handy ever. We will discuss that in a little bit. Yeah. Um, because he did actually. The spoiler alert. Yes, he did. big hands too, which is huge surprising. Hands. Wildly, I mean that we man. Had a brother who is six nine and makes Jimmy look small, God, which was wild. Gracious. Okay, I will, we'll Andy get there. Andy Randy, though. Angel Barrel for ER shenanigans. We will get there too. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then what do we do after that? He took us around. We went up into the Rick houses. Which I got is motion cool. six, so then we Sean went Mary Bobo. Yeah. Um, I like didn't there's eat. like a switch back. Uh, going up the hill, and I like looked out the window because they're like, "Oh, that's that warehouse." And I like looked, and the car I looked left, the car went right and went up, and I was like, "Nope, we're good." Yeah. Um. So I slept in the the van. Is that where you slept? Yeah. Okay. They're like, "We can take you somewhere." I was like, "If you're just gonna park this, I'll lay across the if back, and I don't care." I will vomit. Yeah. yeah. I was like, "The less he goes, I'm gonna go park in that parking lot." I go like the 100 feet away. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Slept for an hour. You're like, I don't care if you play minutes, music whatever. in here. Yeah. I don't care if you have a party. I'm yeah. going to He pass opened the out. door and it got cold. It was like, perfect. Thank yeah. you. It was, yeah. So I napped a little bit. We came back from lunch, went to the distillery or back to the distillery um, and went into one of the rooms and we went through the entire Jack Daniels lineup with yep. Byron. Um, went up to 12. Jack 12. Yes. Jack 12. We, such a we grilled him a lot about Jack 14. Uh, until he got tired of until, it. Until he was like, he like, got tired like, of it. Fast. He did. Yeah. That. Um, eventually he went, I'm not, because the first question, we were with some um, Instagram. Okay, hold on. We were with and, everyone. And I know we're going to get there. We were with a person who designs cocktails. Yes. The wildest cocktail I've ever seen made in under any amount of time. I, yeah, you could have given him a From scratch, was 15 wild. minutes. But anyways, um, we... Kept asking about, we didn't. So I think Breaking Bourbon was the first one that was like. I think we all individually at least asked once. Yeah, but and I think. There was like six of I us. I think so. Breaking Bourbon walked I was like, we trying Jack 14. Yeah. And he was like, they were, everybody there goes, what's that? Everybody acted like it's not real. Yeah. And then finally it came out there like, how do you guys know anything about that? And it was like, oh, it's on Coming Whiskey. He's like, what? Yeah. And then they. was like, Min. Have the discussion. Coming whiskey just shows every label has TTB. Yeah. So they like don't think anybody knows about Jack 14, which is so interesting because it feels like everyone knows about <laughs> Jack 14. Motion sick is a new term for drunk. I didn't even drink yet that day. Good no, sir. no, because um the only drink we had the whole that whole day was that the slushy. Yeah. Because we didn't drink through that until the tasting later. Yeah. So we didn't drink at lunch. We were at Mary Bobo's. We yep. just ate. You that's when you were sick. I drank last night, like the night before, but I woke up. Fine, because we went to bed early and didn't have to get picked yeah, up. Yeah, like I mean, nine. we went to bed at ten thirty. I woke up at yeah. like seven, went down, got breakfast by myself, um, and went back up to my room. Made a coffee up there. Was chilling. I think I called Gabby. I don't remember. I would say, listen, if Sean was hungover, he would have just been sick before that. <laughs> yeah, because Sean this was, was sitting in the back of the bus. Yeah, this was one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So I had the whole ride there. I was fine. I just yeah, yeah. yeah. But what happened after that? We went through the tasting, which yep. we've already had all of them. But, but it was still nice. Byron did host it, which yeah. was cool. Um, Just kind of sat down and chilled, basically. What did we after that? Did we go in the cave after that? No, I think we went Cocktails. and checked into the airstreams. Okay, so that was the whole thing. So this whole press trip was that. Um, everybody that went was they were putting up. They have like a camping hill, we'll call it. Yeah, it's on Barbecue Hill. That's you, what it is. You can um, like stay in some campers yeah. up there. They're all Airstreams. They're super nice. Um, it's very it cool. was a little chilly because we're the first people in it this year. Yeah. And it was like 50 when we were there. Windy. Very windy. Um, so yeah. we went up there. 
uh, checked in, and then we went to the cave below Barbecue Hill. Yeah, there's a, Jack Daniels has their own cave. It is a gigantic yeah, cave. Yeah, and it's humongous. Yeah. They excavated it out um, some very recently. So you don't have to crawl. Yeah, they said you'd have to get like on your belly to get back into this giant uh, cavernous room. Yeah, huge room. And they said they're like, oh, we've gone back a couple miles in each direction, or one direction went a couple miles. Yep. And then the other part in the back went back a couple miles. They're like, well, that one only goes like a quarter mile. I was like, jeez. Yeah. That was super cool. Yeah. We just got our own Airstream, Eric. We did. That doesn't mean we didn't share one. <laughs> so they all thought it was super weird. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> your name's on that door. I get it. Yeah. Um, no, honestly, the Jack trip was really cool. They brought us. We stayed up there. We did a cocktail competition that night. Everybody clearly lost to the person who has written cocktail books and been on Food Who's Network. employed by the Travel Channel or Food Network, yeah, one of the two, Food Network. to go around and, like, is also employed by bars to come in and create cocktail menus, yeah. train the bar staff on how to make them, yeah. and then go on. Made Guess what? He kicked our ass. The most gorgeous cocktail I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. Out of ingredients that they had pre-set up, so we didn't pick any of them. And then on oh, top yeah. of that, I came up with the best bullshit because they were they were telling us that we were gonna it was rated partially on story and reason yeah. for cocktail, and then the like what the cocktail looked like, then what the cocktail drank like. Yep. I came up with the best fucking nonsense story of all time. No, you didn't. Pitched it. Yeah, huh? I made a I made uh-huh. a, I made a maple coffee cocktail with Jack Twelve. That was phenomenal, by the way, and. Came up with a whole story about how Tennessee is so known, so well known for maple wood trees, which I come literally to find out they do. Come grow. to find out, actually, they are kind of known for that, and nobody, not even none of us, knew that. But that it had needed to be a maple cocktail, and then Jack Twelve's like this legacy revival label, and I wanted to honor Jack back in the day, in which they were H. J. Jack. I had this best story ever, and we didn't win. It was all bullshit, dude. It was all rigged. Clearly, there's somebody that gets paid to make a- cocktails. Is there a spreadsheet with the bottle list somewhere? Um, yes, I know Luke has one. I think he, well, Discord's, oh, Discord's open down there. It, it was in there. Mm-mm. Where at? Uh, yep. You're in, oh, that's some gay porn ones. I don't know whose Discord this is. Is that yours? Oh. Whose Discord? This is your Discord. What? Yeah. What I'm not in any of those Discord I'm not servers. in any of those either. This is not my Discord. Who are we logged in as? Oh, it's Nick's. Oh, it is Nick's. Oh, it's Nick's. 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 Oh, dude, hold dude, on. What is this? Hold on. What are we looking at here? Hold on. Click in there. Click in the thing. Oh, it is. It is definitely. It's Nick's definitely system. Nick's, dude. Okay. Anyway, scroll up in here. You'll see it. Ooh. Scrolling. 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 Are you gonna read these? It's a long list. That's what this we were requested of. By who? Luke. Luke, there's no way you want us to read 48 miles. Oh, my gosh. Well, it's 50. Luke. Luke. <laughs> Can you copy and paste them in the chat? He said it, it, it won't let him. The character limit won't it's let him. It's probably too many. You just break it up like every five bottles, you know? Oh, he said read some. Okay, we can read some. Buffalo Trace pick. Uh, ECBP B523, Eagle Rare Picks. Bland's pick. 1792 Picks. Uh, a couple Sweet Wheat. North in there. 2XO Bundle. That's cool. There are a bunch of sample packs, too. There are 10 sample packs in there. Uh, Cam's Drums and Drams River Roots Rye Pick. All right. Jack Ooh, an a single barrel barrel proof. An exceptional series rare character. Oh, there's a Virtue Essence Barrel Thieves Pick. That doesn't exist. No? There's a 107 in there. Saffle. There's a Nick's uh, Texas Whiskey Crew pick, the the six year piggyback rye. There's a Blue Run pick. Yeah, we blue, did a good thir- job right 13 there. Thirteen year. We blue almost run covered pick. that whole list all, like that fast. Actually. Blue Run High Rye. Jack Daniel's Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Uh, Malbec Monster. Oh, pick. I win that. That's from Klein. I win that. Klein was like, "I'm just gonna give away picks. I'll never drink." He said that. That's one of the best picks we've ever done. Ah, uh, sounds like a perfect night you should have filmed. Well. You know what? Um, we did talk to them. If we needed, we were like, "Do you, what? What? Yeah, do you what do you want us? from us?" Yeah. And they were like, "Nothing. Just come hang out." They were super. I cool. I will say they were so. So cool. they relaunched uh, the, because Jack Daniels is a partner with McLaren um, for the Formula One team. Big Formula One fan, so I, I, I got a chance to buy this. Um, it, this is just going to be a decorative bottle. Yeah, I think that's its intention. It, it's just 
it is old number seven, um, but uh, it's pretty, and it's got the papaya on it. So you get that. It comes in a nice little box, too. Boxes are just not for me. I'm but, just, but for decoration pieces. Right. I'm not yeah. a box guy. I get that. You know when I'm a box guy? <laughs> oh, damn, dude. That's why. Oh, <laughs> buddy, could you feel me laughing? <laughs> as soon as you smirked, my brain went, stop. Cut the tape. Cut, cut the film. Cut, cut the it. Film. <sighs> okay. Needless to say, after, next day, they took us home. We went and actually saw Jack's um, the cemetery. Yeah, it's Went and saw Jack's grave. <laughs> Met a dog. I want you to know I learned something very interesting after we saw Jack's gravesite. Jack's he gravesite, died. he probably he's like <laughs> Hitler. He went to South America. Nobody ever saw him again. Argentina. So, um, that would be in South America. So yeah. man, I said that and just was like, please be right. <laughs> you think you can point to that one on a map? <laughs> it's somewhere in there. You know, it's one of those. <laughs> um, but so do you remember when we were at Jack's grave, there were those two white chairs? Yeah. There's like all of this wild, uh, like folklore around the, those yeah. chairs mm-hmm. in cemeteries. They call them like devil chairs or something, the devil's chair oh, or something okay. now. And then some of them are, if you sit in them, you like have these wild fucking experiences where like the devil will almost kill you, but doesn't. All right, cool. And I didn't know that. That would have been way more terrifying <laughs> had I known that before Jack's grave site. Eric, hold on. Let's just talk about the dog. <laughs> We're sitting there and oh, yeah. talking about uh, the, the the gravestone and everything like that. And then this dog just came rolling on up and was like, hey. And uh, I looked at it and go, can I pet that dog? And it started barking at us. I go, guess not. <laughs> he was, that dog was pissed. In the middle of a cemetery alone, by the way. Yeah. It didn't look like a stray. Looked like somebody had a collar on. Pet, I think it, it was okay. like uh, one of the houses that like, was like right up next to it. Or yeah, that's a ghost dog. Ghost dog. And Jack's dog. it belongs to the cemetery because it lives there because it's dead. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I just like. I mean, it was instantly. Can I bet that dog? <laughs> and it just. Roo, roo, roo. Oh, that was instant feedback. I know. Um. Then He's Zach, just digging up bones. We went to Jack Bros back to Nashville. So yeah. a huge shout out to Jack for doing that. Yeah, that was really it was honestly cool. a very cool trip. It was check very it out cool. if you ever guys want to do like a really cool trip. Check out uh, renting or staying. I don't know how you go about that process. If I'm being if clear. you if you um figure out how is it an invite only thing? No. Oh okay. Um, if you rent those airstreams, they overlook the whole distillery grounds. Yeah, so beautiful. it's so cool. You're up on this hill, yeah. And then when the weather's warm, there's there's a huge kajillion dollar open air. Oh yeah, what is like that pavilion? Called? Pavilion, but yeah, pavilion's like so really, underselling yeah. it. It has a full fucking kitchen, kitchen. and bathrooms in it. It's yeah. the wildest thing. But uh, yeah, uh, that would be like a cool bachelor party gig. Oh, yeah. That would be a real cool, like, uh, just a bunch of couples hanging out. That's such a cool. When you walk out, you just oversee the whole Jack Daniels. Yeah, it's beautiful. All of it. Except it's for Coy so Hill. Incredible. That Except is Coy up Hill. above you, and I was told a sniper is employed 24-7. Yes. So, um, Ron said, don't forget the bottle I gave you guys for the Cheech fundraiser. Didn't see it on the list. Luke? Can you add? Or bad. One more. And knock it up to 51. We get the Bardstown Total Eclipse. It's an Eclipse Survivor. No, our barrels are Eclipse Survivors. This was picked on the Eclipse. Not the same. Didn't survive at all. Mm-mm. It was it, bottled. It got bottled. <laughs> what, a, what a little sissy, dude. Jerry Hamilton just joined you talking about y'all taking bottle donations for the fundraiser. Did this get done ahead of time? This got done ahead of time, as far as I know. We did not set this up. up to Luke. Luke has managed, arranged... And is currently managing the entire thing. We are just here to make everybody aware of said thing. Yeah. And then there's a link, and then you guys can do the thing with the link. And then Luke is going to do the thing with the emails after he draws the names, and that's how it all works, buddy. Um, so we went back to Nashville Barrel Co. Thanks, I'd man. like to say just a couple things. Yeah, go ahead. About Nashville Barrel Co. Very cool setup. Yeah. Big fan of the setup at Nashville yeah. Barrel Co. Also, Southern Collective, cool. That was Very fun. Cool. Actually, yeah. we had a great time. Fan fucking tastic. Um, so much so I could barely talk. You know, I got a little at Nashville. That much is, more so than I did. Yeah, more so than I did at Southern. Even yeah, which is wild because we have shit at so. But at Nashville, we didn't. Nashville yeah, we were was getting a time Ubered. thing. Yeah, Nashville, yeah. we were getting Ubered to the airport yeah. from Nashville Barrel Co. And it was like, yep. fuck it, who cares? So Roberson took us. Um, that was our Uber. hey Adam. 
Adam Shelton was in here. If he's still in here, Adam, who's the guy that brought us the four bottles to try first? Who's that guy? Because that guy brought us, he's like the, is he a, one of the owners? The blender? Oh, the guy with the beard? Yeah, he, I think he's one of the owners. Okay. So he, I did not promise. I, I, I think we did talk about Adam. I didn't get that drunk. Like, I wasn't like fucking James. vomiting. Okay. I had to get on an airplane. Um, James. Go ahead. Finish your thought. Get thought your I thought. had to burp, didn't I? Okay. We walked back. There were people doing a barrel pick. I was going to have to check for some drooping real soon the, there. Oh. <laughs> uh, we walked back. Had, then there was a group doing a barrel pick. A couple in the group like watched the channel. So they walked out. We talked to them for just a minute. Yeah. And then they went back in. They were with the James person. That's where the story Yeah, goes. they were the store doing a pick. James comes out and goes, hold on. I got, don't like, don't grab pours off the bar or whatever. Like I have some stuff. Yeah. Brings out these four bottles. Holy shit. It was wild. Those four, some of those four bottles were <sighs> fucking incredible. They were. Um, that being said. We then drank more after that. And then James mm -hmm. took us and showed us, like... After the pick uh, crew got done, yes. he was like, all right, you, you guys just want to join up. We can just kind of walk in the back. I'll show you guys what we got going on. So we joined uh, all the guys that were on the pick and just went back. Like, it's really cool. They made a room basically just by, like, putting barrels and stacking barrels up. And I thought that was literally a room that they were in. You know what I mean? Was that not a fucking room? No. Remember, we just cut through the barrels, and it went into, like, the giant... Like, that was all warehousing. They just... Oh, yeah. You know how we hide yeah, the yeah, RO yeah, yeah. system with barrels? They just made a I'm room. Sorry. When you said you didn't realize it was a room, I thought you meant the side walls. No, no, no. Yeah. Those weren't walls I thought, at all. like, that was just a, like, little conference room yeah, area. Yeah, and yeah, then yes. you just, like, cut through the barrels. It's like, oh, we're in the whole fucking warehouse right yes. now. Um, That... And then he just started drilling in things. He let us taste one barrel mm -hmm. of whiskey. That was very important. He let us taste one barrel of whiskey, and he said uh, that we were going through these barrels for these things. He said he was going to give us that for a pick. I tried so hard, and uh, he eventually was basically like, fuck off, please. But, and nicely, though. Yeah. But um, he was like, we're going through these things. We're making these, like, gift pack things. I'm just going through barrels. Like, that one will work for the gift, you know, whatever. He goes, we drilled this barrel. And I'm like, that's not going to go in the gift packs, like the two little 375 yeah. bottles or whatever, four, seven, 375, like four packs. So he let us taste it, and holy shit. That one was good. That was incredible whiskey. It was a seven-year 21%. Was it? Yeah. I, I don't think, even remember. I think that's what it was. Man, was it incredible. I looked at him, I go, we don't have to do a pick because mm -hmm. we'll just buy that one from you. Yeah. And, he, and said, he goes, nah, how it works. Uh, nope. Mm -hmm. And I go, there's no way, huh? Like none, <laughs> like zero. And he goes, nope. And I'm like, fuck, man. And then later he took us into the other warehouse. And yeah. Go, if you ever want to get rid of that barrel back there, like we could do that as a pick. And he goes, I don't want to. That's what he said. They're mad dark hearts. So he wouldn't so give I us that really cool Glenn. barrel. He wouldn't do that, which is a bummer. And then we tried some it's other stuff. Room. Most of their stuff was pretty good. Some of it. Uh, I just, they're, they source from a lot of places now. Some of those places, obviously just, you know. Not our favorite. Preference. I did buy a 19-year four square rum from them. That is phenomenal. Probably one of the, probably. One of the best rums. Probably I've, the best rum ever, ever drank. the best rum I own, I can tell you yeah, that. It's probably the best rum I've ever had. Yeah, it's barrel strength, just delicious. 19-year four square at cast strength? Yes. Oh, it's fucking incredible. Yeah, it tastes fire. Like the best soda you've ever had in your life, honestly. Yeah. But um, what came after that? We got in the airport. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go we home. We came home. End of the trip. Go to Buffalo Trace. We have a Buffalo Trace pick scheduled, uh, yep. thanks to Jimmy Copeland. He won a Buffalo Trace pick through single barrel slack, like Buffalo Trace bottle. People always go, which one? It's like the Buffalo Trace the actual bottle. Buffalo Trace, the bottle. Yeah. Um, he won a Buffalo Trace pick, so we had this scheduled out. Well, Sazerac and Elvez Todd, that barrel so good. got right together, bottom. and Sazerac ended up giving us an E.H. Taylor barrel pick, an E.H. Taylor single barrel barrel pick. Yep. Um, to make up for the Eagle Rare barrel that was that was misdistributed, and we just Ryan tacked that on to the end of the the day after the Buffalo Trace pick, and then we did a Green River pick for Pours in the Park that'll be available for sale somehow. Around pours in the park, you might have to like order it. I don't. It know. It might have to be like a pre-order thing, and then we distribute at the the park, kind of like sure what we yet. did last year. We have not figured this out for legality's sake. But, um, I would love for people to be able to drink it there, like out of the Green River booth. 
Yeah. That would be like so awesome. But anyways, the we did that in between. So we did the Buffalo Trace pick, the Green River pick, and then the each other single barrel barrel proof pick the next day. Yeah. The Copeland brought like a 2012 Thomas H. Handy. Yeah, but that 2016, was 2016, 2012. No, whatever. I thought it was like 2012 or 2014. It was old. It was the best Thomas H. Handy ever. I've ever had. I don't even like Thomas H. Handy. Usually my least favorite BTAC. Phenomenal. It was incredible. Um, I mean, that night Ryan brought some fire. Yeah. Everyone brought some crazy bottles. Yep. Um, Nick brought some Dusties and shit and was opening those. Um, I talked him out of opening that wild turkey. Yeah. Like, if we got a backup cork or yeah. a puller or a strainer oh. or a filter or it's a. It's gone, yeah. Because we, we can't ruin. I don't remember what turkey it was, do you? No. Man. Me neither. I, I literally don't remember it. It's one of the, it's a famous turkey. Yeah. Like, it's not just some random one. He had one. like three or four dusty bottles and he. 2012. All 2012 right. was the Thomas H. Handy. Yeah. That was so good. Um, but yeah, he had like three or four dusty bottles. He's in here. Yeah. But so oh. the. Buffalo Trace pick went well. All of our Buffalo Trace pick barrels were eight, eight years old. No. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. The yep. Buffalo Trace. And then um, mm. the, I mean, we just had a good time, man. Truth I think one me. was almost nine, wasn't it? I, I thought two were lower in the eights and two were higher in the eights. They're only, those ones were the same as the eights, where they were just a month apart. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Two were, rolled over two were one age yep, and two were. Right. December and January, I think, were the, the, the months. Yeah. Yeah. We did have one of those Buffalo Trace barrels tasted like an Eagle Rare. Yeah, that's the one I voted on. Got I voted. What is important about this trip, guys, is Sean was outvoted on every one of those three picks. Every fucking pick. I made the joke that that we could, weren't streaming last Tuesday because we were in Kentucky. Yep. And I made the joke that I was like, listen, we won't let Sean pick a bad barrel. And then <laughs> this is the first time it's ever happened ever. That three just back to back to back, three picks in a row. Sean's what for the two of the three times, Sean's barrel was out first, actually, which is wild. That actually never happens. You want to know why? You're getting used to that honey life, dude. Oh, my You're God. You're in that honey life. Um, so yeah, we did the Buffalo Trace. Everyone, we kicked uh, everyone kicked the same first one out, yep. and then all the guys kicked out my favorite second, I like, which I liked with you. I and did then like we that blinded one. all three of them, and I still <laughs> liked that one the most. That was the one that actually tasted like Eagle Rare. Um, it was honestly just a crusher for me. It was um, good. But we got a good Buffalo Trace pick. We yep. did, and then uh, the Green River that barrel was full. Yeah, no, that barrel's not full. The Buffalo Trace barrels. Full. The H. Taylor barrel is full. It is. We're going to get more H. Taylor. Taylor had 100 proof than we are Buffalo Trace. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because the Buffalo Trace barrel on the math. thief was low as hell. I'm guessing somewhere um, right now where that bottle was, just guessing off of what it looked like on the thief, we were guessing anywhere from like 170 to 209, 210 bottles. Yeah. Um, when we went to Green River, one of the greatest things of all time happened. We go to Bardstown. Bardstown in downtown Louisville. Yeah. Is an awesome spot. Check out the bar. Um, it's such a it's, cool yeah, spot. Yeah, it's on the row. Uh, yes. It's a fucking phenomenal place. It's so cool. Yeah. Um, we go down there. Ron, who was in chat, uh, always is always the best. He's, yes. a, he's a great host. He sets up a dinner and the Green River pick for us down there. And we all go in, use the restroom, go upstairs. We did it in like the fifth or sixth floor. It was super cool. And their new spot up there. Um, and I'm so... <laughs> I'm sitting here. Chrissy, we got something back. Don't worry. I'm sitting here. Sean's sitting here. Elvis is here. Uh, Ron and Nick are telling stories. <laughs> and Sean has a water glass. We all have a water glass. And Sean, go. I just, at peripheral, I just see Sean go. And then it, there's an adult talking in the room. <laughs> like, we're not conversating, right? There's like, we're, we're being presented to is how I would phrase that. And then Sean just, if this is my water bottle, this glass, you know what? Because you can't see that. This is my water bottle or glass. Sean just does this. Smell that. <laughs> Smell that. Like that. There's adults. Again, there's adults speaking. And so I just fucking respectfully ignore Sean for a moment so they can continue talking because I'm like, now I don't know what the I fuck. I wasn't interrupting class. Is going on quietly. It was like yeah. passing a note. So then later, Sean just picks a glass back up and goes, and then sets it back down. I'm like, finally, what are you doing? And he goes, dude, smell that. It smells like honey. I pick, which, like, what the fuck, dude? I pick it up. I go, 
It smells like water, dude. And then I pick mine up and go, they smell identical. Sean picks mine up. He goes, I don't know what it is. Eight minutes later, he goes, dude, it was my hands the whole time. I was smelling my hands. There was a soap at Barstown. And then he goes, smell my hands. And he puts his hand. I'm like, what the fuck is happening, dude? It was the fucking oh, soap in the bathroom. Dude. I just, 10 out of 10 on that soap. There's just adults in the room. And Sean's smelling water glasses, trying to get the person next to him to smell his water glass. But it's clearly like we're at a profe- a very nice establishment. Hey, There's man, no way the water smells fucked. Welcome to having ADD. The this funny- is what like, school was for me, dog. <laughs> the funniest part is when you smell that glass, you know what the first thing that went through my brain was when I saw the corner of my eye and I just saw a face you made and I went, There's no way Barson doesn't have clean glass. <laughs> There's no way, dude. But needless to say, so, yep. Um, we did the Green River pick. They're all Calvin barrels. Got to vote on that one. That's fun. Sean got to vote on that one. That Not one, fast. I don't vote myself on. Um, because yep. we did them blind. Yes. That's the first pick in a long time I've had a problem doing because if we had, we narrowed it down to two and we had these two glasses and the more time I spent with one, the more I liked one. The one I wanted. The one, no, no, no. That was the one I wanted. The one that I picked like in one drink, pick one oh. was the one you wanted. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it was like, but the more I sit and smell <laughs> and drink that, the less I like it. And the more I sit and smell and drink this, one, the more I like this one. So, and unfortunately, I think I ended up being the tiebreaker on that, mm-hmm. you that which sucks. But that room was split dead even. Yep. Thank God we had nine. Copeland said, Sean, don't forget the Ryan Seacrest moment Dan had. What's that? He tried to high five a blind person. What did you do? Oh, what did I do? The Ryan Seacrest. I remember him making that comment, too. But I don't remember where we were at when he said that. Jimmy, remind us what happened. Jimmy, what did I do? How old constitutes an adult, Chrissy? We were not the adults in the room, Chrissy. That was it. Wasn't us. There were adults speaking at us or to us. And he just, (laughs) dude, it's the wildest thing. Oh, it's the wildest. Glenn smashing is the best pick we've ever done. The Um, end. The next day we woke up, went back to Buffalo Trace, eat yeah. Taylor Barrel Proof pick. We got Freddie for the tour. Got a yeah, tour that was had. a different tour of Buffalo Trace for sure. I'd never seen them filling barrels and shit like that. Oh, we got to see production. Yeah, it was actually like a production tour. We went in where they did the vatting, and that's where I finally got an answer to something we've always heard. We've always heard Eagle Rare is a single barrel product. They don't clean yeah. the lines. Freddie goes, well, they stop at about 100 barrels on Eagle Rare when yeah. they're vatting. I go, what? So they're blending. Those are close are to blends. what I heard. Yeah. Liz says, Sean, more honey, honey, honey. No, I think we got it right. Honestly, we, me and Brandon made a, 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 a Spirit Walker 2 is being worked on right now. Part of the blend is going to be uh, honey in there. And me and Brandon like figured out basically proof gallons, weight, everything like that. Uh, what the maximum that we can do in there. And it was like a 20% blend. We put the, the honey in there. I looked at him and goes, too much honey, huh? Too much. Brandon goes, I love it. It's good. Uh, we used mm, maybe half the barrel. It is good. Give or take. It is. Um, reminds me a lot of a different bottle right now. That's showing. Now, I will say proof down, it is identical to that bottle you hate. So I do understand. Why don't you grab that bottle? Difference. Rio? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. It tastes just like Rio. It does not. Yes, it does. It'll proof and it's better. Um. um but... Oh, Lance said Rio. That's wild. And I know it hadn't hit with the delay yet. So it's like a cast strength Rio right now. Now, the the reason it should not be a cast strength Rio is because of the things we've put in that bat. <laughs> we've put two Elijah Craig 18 finished barrels in there. Yep. MGP bourbons that were finished Elijah Craig yep. 18 barrels. We've put a an eight-year-old rye, 95.5 rye in that tank. Yep. Uh, and then there's amber on it and then there's honey and then there's a, another just straight six and a half year old MGP bourbon. Yeah. So So it's a burr rye that's honey finished with amber on it finished. Yeah. Which is wild. It's pretty good. Is that whole blend MGP? Holy shit. It is. Yeah, it is. That's the first full MGP thing we've done. Yeah. Wow. That's actually pretty wild. Because one of, well, one of the MGPs was aged in a 35 Sagamore barrel for a while. Yeah. And then now that went into the honey barrel. Yeah, but that was MGP. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Man, that's really wild. I might throw in a blind of a vamp. Layer, I like it, uh, versus Glenn smashing to whoever wins my bottle in the giveaway. Love to hear it. And Zach, then I want you to know that the reason you just got another 
Glen Smashing is because the person that owned it didn't want it and wanted to rehome it. Ah, it's good. It's the best pick we've ever done. Um, when's the maple finish coming? Uh, we're going to let that cook for a while, honestly. I think that needs some time because it's a light whiskey it's in good. there. Um, it is pretty good. It's good. That'll probably be a tasting room thing. Yeah, 100%. Because um, I That'll think out quick. of the tasting room, people are going to love that. Like That's another one. people yeah. l- are going to love that. That's another one we can give people that aren't super whiskey people yeah. and be like, yeah. it's hey, it's proofy, but you'll love it. It's awesome. Yeah. And I think, truthfully, if we drop her down just a little, we could. Hot. We can water it on the barrel. 132. Yeah. So There's room we'll, in that barrel to add water. There's a gal, though. That slow water, rematriculation, totally yeah. legal. Proving down the barrel is always the move anyway, seemingly. That seems to be the move. Yeah. If, if it's not We're a up blind. to 17,000. Thank you to everyone that has partaken in this giveaway. We appreciate you, and it's going to a good home. Oh, Jimmy said lighting cigars like drunk high scores. Oh, Yeah. Oh, You're yeah. trying to burn your fucking eyebrows off. And oh shit. no, the t- the Ryan Seacrest moment is I walked around, and had everybody close their eyes, so I could give them a glass, and they wouldn't know what glass it was. Jimmy's brother, Jimmy's brother is sitting. Oh, when this, we're sitting outside. No, 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 at the Green River pick, and Jimmy's brother sitting at the table waiting for his blind samples, and I'm just holding one of them out like this. Oh fuck yeah! And his eyes Holy are closed. And I'm waiting for him and we to grab like, it. We were like, "Hey man, you're gonna put it in his hand." And I'm just waiting for him to grab it, and not thinking that his eyes are closed. Uh huh. And he's not putting his hand out, and I'm like, "I don't know what to do." Holy shit! I did forget about. So that. then finally, I'm like, I do, are you ready? And he goes, "Yeah." And I'm like, "I've just been holding it here for 15 <laughs> seconds, and nobody's moved." Holy oh. fuck! That was a good one. Yeah. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. So that's what happened. Okay. Um, I'm gonna drink. But yeah, we were. Dan was trying to burn his eyebrows off with the triple flame. I think. No, we didn't have lighters. We used we lit each other matches. Yeah, we had matches, and then we were lighting. I learned how to use matches. That's what I learned in Kentucky. Holy shit! That if you light them down, it it burns up, and then uh-huh. you can. Dude, I learned. I had no. I never knew that. So Dan literally just struck the match and started going, and the match would go out, and he's like, "These matches suck." Yep. Light it, and I was like, "Hey, buddy, watch." Turn it up. Let it burn up a little bit, and I go, oh, "Look." He's like, "All right." Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. Yep, pretty crazy. All right. Um, can I look at the bottle? I'm thinking of Chris okay. at the distillery, uh, ex worker. We were having cigars one time, and, and uh, Lance had a triple flame, and he, like, in his mouth. It was like, easy, big cat. Oh, shit. You're going to lose some fucking oh, You're going to lose some brows. <sighs> Holy shit. Goodness. Yeah, I, was like, Adam, I didn't know that just happened to someone, and wow. I'm just misplacing that. Um, Tyler Harden, are you guys going to review Redwood Empire Devil's Tower? We did not get any of those new Redwoods. And they got uh, the Devil Chicken, too. They don't have the Devil it's Chicken. It's like Eagle something. They're pretty cool. Um, thank you for uh, Cool looking chat, labels. Buddy. All right. So these samples are from Liz. Um, and we don't know what they are. I believe the answers are right here. The Liz and chat gave us these. The uh, E.H. Taylor barrel pick went really well. The tour with Freddie was really cool. Yes. Uh, just being able to walk around and see. But I, I I truly believe we've been in almost every building of Buffalo Trace now. It feels that way. That's tourable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, seeing production was really, really wild. Mm. Honestly, that was crazy. Uh, that seeing... guy that was just filling barrels was like, I fucking hate this. Yeah. He's like, you guys are slowing me down. He let us. Yeah. He, yeah I'm sure we were just bothering him. He let us, um, they let us hit the bungs into new fills, Weller he, new fills. I, you know what they need is just a hammer, like a nice lead shot hammer. No, he was doing fine. But he's using a two ounce fucking he Tonka toy that. of a hammer. He's a big boy though. Uh, he was fine with that. He a big boy. That dude, he was swinging like this, just bam. Yeah. Dude, like a little that bit heavier. That man can swing a hammer. A little bit heavier and just a half of them yeah. and a lead shot, be great. Yeah, that man can swing a hammer. Um, It looked like he was trying to fucking... Cut the, the the barrel in half with his barrel or his hammer swing. Uh-huh. Fucking Thor. He only had to hit each one one time. Yep. That was it. Well, he he's done, done it mm, 10,000 times yeah. uh, that week. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, impressive as hell. So, it was Wednesday. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's. Okay, then. Which all of our H. Taylor barrels were nine, nine, which is cool. Almost 10 on uh, two of them. The No, they turned 10 in December. Fuck, I keep. I keep thinking it's yes, the opposite. Yeah. yes, but yeah, the those were the December January ones too. Yeah, yeah, yep. they were. 
They were one month apart, but yeah. they were different years, so they looked like the they were. The E.H. Taylor that we picked, that I, me and Ryan, I looked at Ryan and said, "I'm going to be outvoted today, and it doesn't even matter. It's going to be fucking eight to one." And uh, Ryan, oh, Sean was really hungover at the E.H. Taylor. Very hungover. Very hungover. I went and slept while we went to the farm. I had a lot of fun though the night before with everyone. Sean walked out the night before and looked at me. and Goes, I'm fucking hammered, and I love. I drank it. two waters. That's though. what he said. He said that to me. Yeah. You got in the hot tub, though, after yeah. that. Yeah. That's never the move. I drank a water in there and then a water in bed. Dude, drunk in hot tub. Rough. It was fantastic. Rough. That's fantastic. not good, dude. Oh. It was nice and, like, it was a little brisk that Sean night, too. Put his head, it was. Sean went and put his headphones on, just jumped in yeah. the hot tub. It was so funny. Sean leaves us. We just assume he's going to bed. Walks back out basically naked. Headphones. Goes, I'm getting in that hot tub. Uh, then almost fell on his ass and broke his fucking neck three times. Dude, well, it was raining a little bit, and they have, like, a stamped concrete paver path, and they're, like, big fucking stones. Yeah. Smooth as hell. Terrible idea, come to find out. So, like, on three of them, my foot would be flat and just be like, see ya. Whoa. So I had to, like, walk like a penguin. I had to remember that. Which one did you pour? Uh, this one. Will you smell it and tell me if it's a rye or if it's just because I have whatever the fuck Sh- I Not Schmovid? I don't know, you know, nosy biotics. Matthew Perry loved hot tubs too. Oh, Damn, dude. We need like a 200 pack of Z biotics. It's like $600. Oh, well, okay, here's the thing. It might be time to switch. Because Elvis says there's a better one than Z biotics? Yeah. Really? And it comes in a little tub. Oh, yeah. We, I see, we have I've... not tried it. Are you talking the, the ones that you put in water? Like the, the Is little... it a tablet? Yeah. That would explain the tub. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Because there are ones that come in a tube like okay. that, that's basically like airborne type of shit. Um, Maybe we should reach out to them and see if we can get... And then there them. are other ones that are like Z-Biotics that come in like prepackaged ones. No, like these aren't single that. Shot. These okay. are not that. These were like, you could tell... Float? I do believe that is right. Interesting. Sex, that's... No, that, I, that's got to be a fucking joke about the, the hot tub, right? Is this rye? Ah, uh, could be, could be finished too. What's the, what's the hot tub? Float. <laughs> what do you mean? Like I'd be floating in the hot tub. Oh well, that is fair because while we were there, Jimmy and me and Jimmy, okay, we were sitting outside, and as we're sitting outside, Jimmy's brother, big me, motherfucker. He's six, when Jimmy, he's so big. Who is six four? Big farm boy goes. Wait until you meet my brother. I go. What the fuck's that mean? He walks in. I went. That's Jimmy's brother. Huh. Yeah. He goes, yeah, he's 6'9". All right. Uh, Boyer said, shook, I'm an asshole, and went and took a slug of Rio. Yeah, it's a pretty good Amarana compared to RD1 or Starlight. This is the one I was thinking of. Fair. More labs. If I see the container, I'll know it. It is blue and yellow. This. Nope. No? It's not that. Unless they have but tubs that is of a, it. That that's is a, a bottle. drink. Yeah, yeah that's not a, like that's not that. um, uh, Z-Botics, I nope. do believe. But it's a morning recovery. We're sitting outside, and as we're about to go inside, Sean's got his. I go, hey, buddy, because the hot tub's a little off the deck, and you were in the hot tub. Yeah. And I was just going to make sure you're good before I went inside and went to bed. I go, hey, buddy. And you just drink eight, the other you're one. Just doing this. Here's this in the hot tub. And I go, I have noise canceling headphones. Yeah. Well, I didn't know you had your headphones. Oh, yeah. And I go, Sean. <laughs> and then he goes, hey, he's got his headphones on. I go, oh, shit. Okay. And he's like, do we need to get him a life jacket? And I go, <laughs> oh, he'll be all right. He could swim. And then we or woke float. up in the morning and he was alive. But, zombie, but alive. I can't believe you got shmammied and then hot tubbed it. That is so wild, dude. Hot tubs and alcohol are just such a hot. It's just immediate drunk. Like, you could be re- buzzed, hot tub, hammered. It's just so hard. It's feeling good, man. I, I know. You told me. it was a, Buddy, you just walked on deck and you just looked at me. We were like this far apart. And you just look at me, I'm fucking hair. I love it. That's just, and I was like, that's the funniest shit in the world. I don't think you've ever said that to me before in my life. And it was just, you were just happy. It was fucking, st- still sensible though. You can have sentences. They were yeah, coming out. I, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't Southern, Southern Collective. Collective. Yeah. I had food that day. Yeah. The night before that show went to bed at about 1030. Yeah. Just had a full night's sleep, no screaming baby. I woke up at 7 a.m. Yeah. Yet again, first one up. You guys were up until like 2, Don't apparently. Don't say yet again as if you're implying on trips. Normally, you're the first one up. On the Jack trip, I was up at 7 again, like is what I meant. Like, oh, okay. Trips, okay. Trips, yeah. Um, but I woke up Normally at like 7, 
walked on out. Everyone cleaned up. The kitchen was all clean and shit. I was going to, like, clean up Jimmy's a little bit. Jimmy's a cleaner, man. All clean. Um, every and, night, Jimmy's cleaning that kitchen. Every night. Dad Sean is a new man. Yeah, a little bit. Um, Only for one night. One night. He the went back night. to normal Sean. Default just... night two. <laughs> yeah, um, but, yeah, I, like, got up, made a Nespresso, went out. Same thing. Hot tub, tub. Headphones. Listen to music. You cigar that time? I didn't. No? No. Hot tub cigar is nice. Yeah. Um... Just because I was like, I don't want to get like palate blown out before doing the pick and shit a little bit. I don't know. Oh, I just want to have coffee, man. Couldn't have hurt. Sat- yeah, that's true. I would have got <laughs> outvoted anyways. Didn't really matter. That's a rye, right? Um, wh- I just sat out there for like probably like an hour almost in the hot tub. Oh, it was probably a half that hour morning? by the time I got out there. Yeah. And then like uh, Jimmy and his wife came out and they're like, hey, we're going to Starbucks. Do you want anything? Like, no, I'm good. That was one of the. That, I already had basically two coffees because I didn't realize Nespresso was coming two different fucking sizes, and the first yeah. one I hit uh, was a goddamn shot. Yeah, they go not what I wanted. Thanks. So I go, oh, there's the other one. So I had a shot Nespresso and then a full cup of coffee Nespresso put in, in that. After, yeah. It's called a red eye. You know, it's great. Red eye coffee, not, not intended to taste good. It's intended. My to whiskey rock lab. Your did shit. you say that with the twenty? Cheers to Cheech. Thank you, buddy. Copeland. Anyone can get up at seven when they go to bed at nine thirty. <laughs> Dude, when everybody yeah. everybody looks at me, we're out on the back patio, and they go, where's Sean going? I go, oh, he's probably there talking to Gabby. Hour goes by. He was in there sleeping. And I go, I ain't talking to Gabby. <laughs> I go, he that's had to have gone to sleep. I go, that's somebody who's about to get a night's sleep without a baby. That's who that is right there. So, Yep, it was fantastic. Actually, um, just... I had a couple cool pours that night, and I yeah. was like, dude, I am exhausted yeah. right now. Yeah. I was truly tired, and um, I was like, I'm, we I am literally day. went in to change my sweat, like, into sweats, yeah. and just, like, sit down and, like, relax You're a little comfy. bit. Comfy. You just got comfy. Took pants off, sat on the bed, and went, ah, I guess, we're, I guess nice. we're here now. Yeah, yeah. this is nice. Um, the E.H. Taylor barrels. Definitely. All right. Uh, two of those were really good. Yes, we, it came Two down to good. a 50-50. Two were good. Um, me and I, like I said, I, I told Dan we had eight people there. I said, it's going to be seven to one. Bless Ryan's heart. <laughs> At the last second, he flipped. We did do it blind. Yeah. We raised hands blind. So, like, on the E.H. Taylor one, here's what I will say. We've never been on a pick yeah. where the person running the pick was like, shut the fuck up and do what I say. And Freddie was very much like. Well, Freddie is very uh, schedule-oriented. Freddie is, we're, this is how we're doing the pick, boys. Yeah. And hurry the fuck up. It was, I mean, we did one passer. He goes, all right, you guys ready to kick one out? Yeah. Like, Whoa, yeah. that was quick. Normally, I uh, D. Me and uh, Elvis were riding a struggle bus, too. Yeah, you, Dan drank three people's samples almost completely. Yeah. Um, and still was like, we were getting ready to vote. And Ryan goes, shit, one more second. Grabbed my samples, because I was like, I know which one's better, clearly. Yeah. Uh, and then Ryan switched to mine. Uh-huh. And it was just us. Let it be known, though, I did get done before Ryan. I just want that on record. That's a very important piece of information because normally I am the last at every pick we've ever done ever. Um, But (laughs) Ryan was last this time. Now, that being said. That is true, Eric. If he gets to 20K, Dan will make his OnlyFans uh, page free for a whole week. (laughs) And good luck, the world. So, ain't nobody want it. (laughs) Just one picture. But everybody gets it. Just your (laughs) b-hole. Oh, man, it's. It's seen, and that's enough the internet. <laughs> but that thing's been to literal war. Like, it is wild. Uh, um, recently. Uh, uh, a lot of dick jokes in there. <laughs> now, here the thing, though, is with, um, with Freddie. Freddie wrote on his hand. None of us knew this until the oh, we were which done. Which one was his favorite? Freddie wrote on his hand his favorite barrel. Yeah. And so then at the very end, we were like, oh, Freddie, what was your favorite? Freddie was a really awesome tour guide. And after the tour of Freddie, I was like, this all, the Freddie hype makes sense. You know what I mean? Like the hype with Freddie, Hall of Famer, everybody wants Freddie for the tour. And you're like, Eugene was awesome, right? He was. And it's like, is Freddie that good? And then you go on a tour with Freddie, you're like, he's that good. What do you call it? Wake up the dog? Yeah. Yeah, wake up the dog. And we did that with uh, Weller, which is wild. White dog Weller. Yeah. Because that's what they were filming. They were there. But all of that being said, Freddie, um, we asked Freddie what his favorite barrel is. He just opens his hand, and right there on the palm of his hand was a letter written in pen, and it was the barrel we picked, Mm -hmm. which is awesome. So we picked the H. Taylor barrel. He's a single that's nine years old that Freddie also picked. And it's full as fuck. And it's full. Um, there are going to be a lot about that one. Well, when Sean says a lot, it's still under 300. 
but it'll be a lot. Oh, I mean, yeah. Like, I, but single it, barrels are single barrels no matter what. But yes, they proof but that it gets down. proofed down to 100. Yeah. So realistically, a good amount of water be added. Yeah, from 120 was, to 130, somewhere in there. It's some. It was over 120. Yeah. It was pretty warm. Yeah. Um, that wasn't like an each Taylor, Taylor barrel proof hot, but that was pretty warm. Yeah. Guessing 126, 129 range, like upper end of yeah. 120s for sure. Um, the one that I wanted was just... So sweet. Yeah. So delicious. A little delicate. It was delicate. Yeah. I agree. It was good. I think that was the better drinker. You were drinker. really going for crushable. That I think that was the better drinker. It was crushable. Honestly. It was not as complex. I don't it, think it was, but uh, I think, uh, I don't know. I think that one was a little bit more elbowy. Yeah. I think it was sharper. The one for, we picked? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I, the nose on the one we picked is the best E.H. Taylor nose I've ever smelled in my life. True. Ever. I think that one smelled the best. I yeah. think mine tasted better, though. What's interesting is um, there was like um, a bigger back end. Ryan did. Chat disconnected. Successfully connected. Nope, just YouTube. All right, cool, guys. That one over there was fine. This one was like, nah. Everybody agrees. Oh, I almost read that again. Oh, and oh, that is a different one. If. Go fund me. In my mind, uh-huh. yep, you my ruined bad. it. Yeah, Gets twenty k tonight. You both need more shots. Let's push the donations. Hey Lance, why don't you shut the fuck up, dude? Lance, you had more. Why don't you hey Lance, tell? why don't you shut up, I dude? Need less hatred in my life. Hey Lance, <laughs> shut up. Um, this is good. Oh, it disconnected for a bunch of people, huh? What? How we're weird? Getting, we're getting fucking DDoSed by a liquor store in we're DC. Finally getting shadow banned, dude. The, the store in D.C. is not a nice person to us. Um, but those were our trips. They were good times. They were fun. And we got really cool barrels, truthfully, out of them. We got a Jack Daniels barrel pick out of the Jack Daniels trip, too. And you guys voted on it. So if you're a patron, you know oh, that. Man, uh, we're going to get a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof one. rye. This is the fucking hot take that you know Dan's wrong. It was 25 to 75. Not even, and we need a windmill. Dun- I already said, I already messaged Min back and said, yeah, we're going to do a ride. Yeah, I figured. After like a couple hundred votes rolled in. After you I go, knew it couldn't change. I go, dude, that ain't, that ain't going the other way. You guys picked the wrong, wrong one. Uh, nope. I think we're good. You guys realize we could have picked the second best Jack Daniels barrel pick that's ever been picked to our first one. This feels like um, Barrel Proof 95.5. Yeah, I, I agree. I also think it's old. I think yeah. it's older. Older. I'm say seven. Mm, I might go older than that. Oh shit! I it's was saying, soft. in my mind, I thought eight. Ooh, eight. Yeah, it's not much older, but okay. in my mind, I, I was thinking eight to ten range, like a, a little older. It has to be nine to five five though. I would say that very <sighs> herbal, it's but it's a sweet. I do get a little bit of that lemon drop, like candy almost. It's it's really nice. So here's the problem. So people keep pitching this three seven five idea. Nobody's gonna want to pay shipping on a three seven five. Also, there's not a 375 of E.H. Taylor. No, they're talking the Jack. Ew. But, like, nobody's going to want to pay shipping on that. That makes more sense. It's going to be a bummer. Yeah, it's $25 shipping. It's just a flat 25 so We just need to drop two picks at once. We, I, we try to, but then people, everything moves slower. But no matter what, it's going to be mismatched that someone, like, we would have to have a, a pick that's a higher yield than the Jack in 375s. Which would be a good amount. Oh, I see what you're so, saying. Because if you got mismatched right, right. and then had to pay $25 shipping yeah. on a 375, you're like, well. Yeah. Josh, we did. Well. We're going in We're going in uh, June to do a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel rye or barrel proof rye. Oh, shit. That's why you told uh, James we're out of town. That's, yeah. that's No, it's not. That's, that's that weekend. I, no, it's not. That's the next. I'll, I'm in Kentucky that weekend for my anniversary. Didn't you get Remember married the in May? Yeah, the last weekend in May. 27th? Huh? 27th? Mm-hmm. Nailed it. I know a lot of dates for Dan's life. Um, I'll always get his birthday wrong, though. By one day. Yeah, by a day, though. 18th. Right year? You got it. You, Nailed first it, because I want to say 17th every first fucking time. First time he's time. actually ever got it. He actually has gotten 17th 100% of the time <laughs> until right now. So, Can we kick Dan out of the stream? Super excited for the Jack Daniels ride, says Chrissy. Hey, Chrissy. I want you to know you're 75% banned. Seventy-five percent of our patrons also very excited. You're banned, Chrissy. Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye from Ever North. Can so. we request that Byron be there for it? That'd be cool because he loves those. Oh, that would be really cool. Yeah, I wonder if men would do that because I mean they obviously have some form of yeah connection, connection. with Jack Daniels. Yeah. yeah, obviously. Oh, that'd be cool. 
Oh, Chrissy got <laughs> rocked. So, uh, do you see the time? 10 seconds. Yeah. God damn it. Zach, you know what? You're going to keep your wrench, though. All right. Barrel proof. Are we trying to guess what these are? Yeah, I think we should. We could guess sourcing. Let's try the next uh, okay, one. Okay, barrel proof 95.5. I'm with you. Let's just guess age then. Uh, my mind went mythology. Oh. Because our, like, 10 year, it doesn't, it, it doesn't have the note that I get off there. Okay. Um, so you prefer it. I do like that one. That's really good. Um, but that could be sourced barrel proof 95.5 from almost anyone. Yes, it could be. I agree. But it's good. Yeah. It's, it's soft. Hey, is that a liquid sweet. mystery? Sure is. Oh, I don't. Whoa. That I seems like some proof. That that's chasing. That, Look at how that light, light the color is. It's got to be, right? Dude, it just chased the water up the, the sides of my Glen. It's very light. All right, Chrissy, you're on band from the distillery. Appreciate you. Oh, that's got a fun little uh, nares. That's super that's really sweet. That's really different. Almost got, okay, let me. Chrissy said Sean and Brandon will let me in. All right, you know what? You're reband. <laughs> you know what? How do we get a bottle of a pick? Well, normally, so I just say the patrons know first for all the pick stuff. Like, yes, that's sir. the place where all the information goes. Oh, that's a good number to see. Oh, that's cool. I would imagine that's real. <sighs> We haven't dropped any frames, so we're good. YouTube's really... Oh, this 57 is... watching. Cheers, guys. Appreciate you being here. Did what? Ours 44. Doesn't, ours doesn't say, dude. It, ours says 44. Did this YouTube happened, just kick us off the platform? This happened to Tim the other day. He went from 30,000 to like 400. And he was like, hey, Whips, what the hell's going on, dude? I see 26 watching. Watching. 26 is getting lower. 28. It's getting what lower. What is happening? Appreciate you guys being here, though. For I need people in chat hey, to count to 28. 26 of you are ride or dies. Let it be known right now. Let it be. Yeah, look how slow our chat is. 21 people. Rob's at 768. <laughs> what is happening? Know, YouTube, uh, we got a uh, Eric B with negative 35. A lot that. of 20s is pouring in. All right. Well, that cleans. Oh, Johnny yeah. My phone's 27. So. What is happening? All right. Well, you 27 people or 44 are or negative 35, whoever's here, we appreciate you guys being here. You're the real ones. And let it be known you're the real ones. And I want you all <laughs> to feel like you are you guys are part of the real family. Okay? And the rest of the fucking 700 fake people here. <laughs> it's all bots. Everyone is now seeing through our sham. It's all just bot views. Oh, you know what? I bet our credit card got declined. Oh, not again. <laughs> we lost our 700. That chat is moving fast enough to have <laughs> 800 people in it. I remember the days when Gosh. we had 50 people. Let me tell you what. She didn't move that fast. No. Mark Boyer with the safe cheat 199. Our chat rate is higher than our concurrent viewers, buddy. <laughs> like, the guys... Most people probably don't, know, probably don't even know what chat rate means. It's how often people are chatting in chat, how yeah. often there's a message... Our chat rate's at 70, and concurrent viewers are 29. So, YouTube is crushing it right now. It doesn't like us. All right. They're like, you guys are trying to fucking give away money? Fuck that shit. Don't Listen, do that. Listen, we're just sending people to a GoFundMe, which is fully acceptable. <sighs> okay. This is not light whiskey. What is it? I, it's probably used barrel. It's so interesting, but it's so light, though. Maybe it is light whiskey. It's a little proofy. <laughs> I'm going to say something finished. Like a uh, whiskey evolution. Um, Brandon is there, uh, but we're getting the parking lot done, so we're closed for a little while um, until we get the parking lots mm. and stuff done. And once we get all this stuff done, we're gonna be open Thursdays, Fridays, and we're good. That is single malt. Oh, that would make way more sense. Yep. And I'm going to say gonna that's pass. American single malt. I don't think that's uh, outside of our country. That feels american -y. Yeah. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's a good guess. It's a little chocolatey. Um, like, is why I would go, whew, holy shit. Good on proof. Dude, I was not prepared. 15-minute warning to close entry, says Luke. Westland, maybe? That's good. For Westward, whatever the fuck is, one does single do malt. they do proof? That, that's a high proof. That is a high proof. Man. I mean, I don't think Chattanooga has done anything that no. high. I don't know. And this is a, I, don't, I mean, with this with, I, with respect. I've never you know, had like a Chattanooga Tennessee, product like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ever. Yeah, that's fair. That's really good. Um, but dry it's, fly? This, like you said, it feels did, single malt. Did they do any single malts? No, all of those. Those, those are wheats. Yeah, those are yeah. wheats. And I don't think they're malted. I think they're just wheat. Okay. Like 100% wheat or something. I think Cedar Ridge. I can tell you that. It's hot. It's not the right color to be dry fly. It has to be a single malt. The, the color would explain the single yeah. malt, and so would the palette. Use barrel. Makes sense. I don't know. I, I think it's an American single malt. I don't know from whom. I can't think of right now that's got stuff that proofy right now. Someone. Man, that is warm, dude. You want to recycle that for me? Yeah. That's okay. Because that'll, uh, that's got a little bit of octane to it. I it mean, does. Not, not too much. It's good. That, I'm going to guess 120s. 130s. I'm oh. going to guess low 130s. 132. I'm going mid 120s on that one. Man, do you have water left? Are you pour some I do. There? Oh, Drank you all chugged all yours? I just, I haven't, I didn't even drink all my backbone I poured at the beginning. Whiskey's rough right now. You dude. have a real hydration issue going on. Yeah, in whiskey's life. rough right now. Like that backbone smelled like light whiskey, and I was like, that ain't worth drinking right now because I can't fucking love I it. I can't wait until you give me schmovin. Finally. I, I, plan I have a all newborn. Along. I have a newborn. I plan all al- not with the newborn part. I did too, you piece of shit. Actually, mm-hmm. Luna. She, was she one? Yeah, she fucking was. Like two years ago? Uh, three. Was it? Well, okay. When was COVID, guys? <laughs> well, I got married in 2020, but it was... It was way post that. Yeah. It Tw- had to be in 21. 21, she would have been two. So it was 21 was when we when we had the Schmovin. Okay. She was two then. So not newborn, but a baby. Well, it was around... It was November. Could have been late 20. No. Nope. No, because you got married. Yeah. Yeah. It no. was November of... 21. And, and we didn't get, we we had not gotten COVID for a very long time. Yeah. Until I can, you I can brought promise it you it is November. Into my property. Yeah. Where I felt very safe during the unknown. Um, so yeah, it'd be November of 21. You gave it to me when it was winter? I don't think so. Yep. It was winter? Oh, maybe it was either October or November. October. Maybe October. Maybe I don't remember being October. wintery at all. Gabby says September 21. That's that, close. That tracks. And le- far I was less getting winter. closer. Far, closer you're, and closer. You're inching? Yeah. You're, an inch, yeah. you're an inch worm? September 21. No, I did test just uh, truthfully for Sean because at this point, it's I'm like, I, you know, whatever. My son had it. I got it. My mom's got it. Whatever the fuck it is. When I said November, I was like, I got to reel that back. I actually think it's October. But I it took was September. Little, I took a little Schmovid test. Was it the end so of September? Tell Sean so he wouldn't come over if I was. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my shit. Labor Day. When's Labor Day? I don't fucking know that. You think I know that? You know I don't know that. You know I don't. I barely know a single holiday, dude. I know December 25th, Christmas. I know January 1st, New Year's. Nailed it. Day. Yeah. The one before, that's the eve. <laughs> I know. I meant the day, not the 14th. Okay. Never got the COVID. Man, I'm pretty sure that COVID, uh, I'm... Actually, pretty sure. Actually, we're all pretty sure at this point. Ricky's heart palpitations are from COVID. Oh, no shit. Yep. Yep. Because her Apple Watch is what caught him. Oh, yeah. Which is weird. And then yeah. she went and saw her doctor and then a lot of heart testing for a little while there. Like a lot. And then, Did she have it twice? What? COVID. Yes. Okay. And, and I never, I've only had it once still. Yeah. You're welcome. And. Uh, hey, I, it was given to me unknowingly. Well, I don't think people often intentionally give it to others, buddy. Mm, sometimes. <laughs> you know, I could say the same. It was yeah. unknowingly given to me. I was walking through an old folks' home. By you. <laughs> yeah. Chaz Wilkerson Tenor. Nine, nine, nine. Super chat, First buddy. Super Chat. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Got to hit that message before you push enter. Don't Super Chat again. If you want to say something, just go at Bourbon Junkies. Tag us. I'll, I'll see the tag and I'll read it. Look at uh, the Did heart stuff when started was? Yeah, post dude. the second vid. I barely know what day of the week it is. Most days of the week. Oh, COVID nineteen. COVID is called COVID nineteen because the first cases were recorded in September twenty. Is that real? That feels non-creative to me. Yeah. That that's where the nineteen came from. From the year. Wow, that's wild. I had no idea. Interesting. Really got popping around March, if you're wondering. Really? Of 20. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. 
That's definitely true. Down to 12 people? Yeah, we see 14. John said it's called the flu. No, no. Oh, I've had the flu many times, my friend. I've never been beat to fuck. What's like up, hey, hey, Ron? How was your meatless sandwich that you picked up Buddy, today? I was bitching to you about that, Jimmy John no, sandwich. No, no, he picked up the wrong sandwich. You see that? Oh, I didn't know it was the wrong. It looked like I'm dog pretty, shit. I'm pretty sure he put it. Uh, it was like I was driving. I'm, I'm pretty sure he got a, someone else's sandwich that was just named Aaron. So the problem with Jimmy John's is I just had a sandwich with no fucking meat in it because they know they hate giving meat on the sandwiches, dude. We got dude, Arby's got the meat. Arby's needs to start doing better sandwiches. Uh with, Je- with better Jimmy, than with fucking Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's bread. You know what I mean? You know what? If someone was like Arby's or Jimmy John's, it would have been like, you know what? I'll never eat Jimmy John's again. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You We're just, good. Let's move the bread down the road. Yeah. You know? Or and then Jersey Mike exists, and I'm like, yeah, fuck everything else. A hundred and come to find out, in our town, what was the directly across from each other? What was the other one that you listed as top of Jersey Mike? Penn Mike's? Station. I don't know what that is. Penn Station was down in Kalamazoo. There's oh. a bunch. It's a franchise. There's not a lot in Michigan. Gotcha. They're big everywhere else, or in a bunch of other places. Jersey Mike's and Penn and Jersey I know, slash I don't know what Penn that is. number one, dude. Penn Station was down in Kalamazoo area. Good. It was actually I never had Jersey Mike's. I had Penn when I had. Jersey Mike's. Yeah. I was like, this is like Penn Station. Um, Mark is red. TheWhiskeyChannel.com. Somebody better give Dan their meat. I appreciate you. Uh, Matt Porter texted and asked if there is a list to add bottles to for tonight. There is. I don't think Luke is accepting anything for his list, buddy. You got a message. Luke a Stephens. That was a Luke Thinger. This is out of our hands, so that's how you know it's going to work well. All right, so... An article just popped up and said, where Gen Z is buying homes. <laughs> Fucking nowhere. <laughs> uh, that's where. Jared O'Connor said, I know Dan's a big video game guy, so I need to see if he knows. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Knows what? <laughs> what happened? Knows what? <laughs> Does that one... Okay, did you smell this one yet? Yeah. Proofing? Or yeah, did I just it smells my, good, though. Did I get my nose too deep? No, it doesn't. It burnt my fucking Proofing nose. It smells so good, though. It smells really good. Scott Jackson, first time, long time. What are we drinking tonight? Don't know right now. <laughs> Whatever you it smells want. smells phenomenal. Right? This is... Uh, we're going to find out in just a second. Liz sent us these. I believe the answer is inside of here. Is there... There's a TV show called Fallout. Apparently, it's good. You heard that? Oh, yeah. It's on uh, Prime. <laughs> Nice. Um, first guess, uh, Woodford Batch Proof without trying it yet. Oh, interesting. I get a little bit of banana oh, I got to give you this. The, I, supposedly, these are all barrel picks, I believe, is what Liz said. Probably not that. So I'm going to switch to Jack Daniels Single Imagine Barrel Barrel Proof. you were right, though. This would be the second time you guessed the right thing and it was wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh Devin finally became a patron. You find gentlemen snag the night stalker, and I'm so beyond pumped for it. After watching you guys for years, it's amazing to see the cool shit you're doing. Thank you for being a part of it, buddy. Thank you for the support over there. Thank we you. We appreciate the hell out of you. I still Thanks my so guess. much. Hopefully, you love that bottle, dude. Okay, drums and drams. Oh, here he is, drummer boy. Dan was talking about you. It was kind words. Trust me. Here he is, dude. Cam, I need you to. I don't. You'll never find where I was talking about you. Cam's was... Gen-, Gen Z, right? I did say I was going to hold you like a baby. He's like Kiss what? you on your forehead. 20? No, oh, I think he's 42. 21? Cam's old. He's an old man, dude. He's a child. No. Look at the size of him. He just never grew. He stopped at Your son will be that size tomorrow. at age 12. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> he said you guys set up to possibly do custom blends as well as barrel picks. Just curious, maybe a very small blend, possibly even a micro batch, says Cam. Yeah. You can micro, micro batches in your mouth. We dude. have the perfect barrel for you. There's about eight gallons in it. Not even joking. Which one is it? That uh, experimental oh. ISC. Yeah. There's nothing in that. It's, it's, it's empty. Cam said, I'll rewind hard as fuck. I'll find it. I just said I wanted to hold you like this when you come up for the pick, and then I was going to hold you like this, like you're across I said my arms, put him, like a put, baby. Put you on his hip, though. I was going to do this, just on your forehead, just a little smooch. Um, and then I said that there's no way you went to Dark Arts and just picked a 10-year 36 rye MGP barrel after... The things you said. That's what I said. And I said, it's a good thing McCauley is our guy. Because McCauley not being our guy and you picking that Dark Arts, I would buy, I'm still going to buy your Dark Arts because I want to try it. And I just hope it's anywhere near as good as ours someday. Probably won't be. But <laughs> then I thought to myself, 
I can't shit on Cam's model because of Macaulay. But anyone fucking else that you picked from, Dan, would have shit on. Um, LP yeah. with the 10. Thank <laughs> you, buddy. He said, love the channel. You guys have been my Thank bourbon you. samurai during the journey. Some delicious bottles sit in my house because of your content. Keep it up. Thank you so much for the love. Appreciate you being here. Uh, Cheech said, thanks, Thank everyone, you. for the support. Thank you, guys. You guys are rocking it out tonight. Scroll up just a little. Go ahead. A tiny bit. Oh, not what I meant. Dude, this. I know. I know. I'm with you, dude. I feel your pain. This uh, yep. mouse has really been through it. What are you looking at? Keep going. A little farther. A little bit. Red Hog. Was... Oh, there it was. Liz says, I think I recall the samples I gave you. She super chatted that. We didn't read it. Oh. The blue one. Liz, you don't have to super chat that. It's okay. They're right here, I think. Uh, yes. Dan does have that. Uh, Red Hog was okay, fucking this. fire. One of them just says bourbon. So it was where we ate. Uh, Red Hog night. was It was pretty good. You didn't like it? It was good, dude. I had you a good know, steak. I, my steak was great. My, those fingerling potatoes, get them the fuck away from that You steak. like fingerlings? They're just bullshit. And, and You're a russet kind of guy. If you don't give me some form of something to make them wet because they're dry. Those were like a roasted potato. Yeah, they were chunks. <laughs> you know what I mean, dude? They were, they called them fingerlings. They could have just called them potato fingers. They that were not the, links. That's the varietal of potato? Oh, it's not the shape? <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> Guys, this is wild, dude. Uh, I'm a big French fry guy. You, sh you're sh who had French fries? Ron. Yeah, Ron's French fries really looked good. incredible. Yeah. They I looked stole, amazing. I literally looked at me, I'm going to steal one of those. And then I did. And then I spilled with water. I went, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Not even did. drunk right now. Yeah. Not even drunk. Just literally went to like reach for something. Yep. And my, uh, one of my fingers just caught the edge of yeah. his glass and just... It's like, God Tipped over a full damn water. It. I go, I'm so sorry. We uh -huh. had just sat down. Uh -huh. It wasn't good. No, it wasn't. And then we ordered <sighs> the worst wine on that fucking list. I forgot, dude. I, I must have PTSD'd that out of my brain. I, that's not how that I was ready to trade you. <laughs> fucking wine. I, me and Dan, we, we both had a steak. And so I got in a uh, glass of wine just off the list. When you order a nice steak, you get a nice cap. These are the rules. And I looked through when mm, that one sounds good. Yep. Got it. They only had three reds on the list. Yes. Go, one right, was cool. a blend. Yeah. So. Yep. Um, and I go, yeah, that one sounds good. Yep. Got that. Driest wine. I mean, it. you gave me liquid sponge. You want it, it grew up in the fucking ugh. Sahara, dude. That barrel was left so far oh. away from humidity that it just turned evil. Do you know it what made up for it? It was disgusting, dude. The steak, that was it. The steak was good. Oh, the, the wine... Lamb. And the lamb was not good. I don't lamb like lamb. The, the dinner we had uh, with Ryan, where he just ordered wine. Yeah. And I love that. At the hotel? Yeah, I love that. That was solid. Yeah. Was it, that wasn't a Malbec. That was a Pinot. I have no idea. It was a Pinot. Yeah. I'm sorry. That I did good. look at the bottle. It was good. I go, I don't remember what it was. But as soon as you said that, kicked. Last call says, Luke, uh, Jason Holbrook, Charlie Brown's mom, wanna wanna, wanna wanna, wild turkey, great daily drinks. Sirs. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Oh. That's how the, all the adults talked in Charlie Brown. I'm aware. All right. <laughs> not, I'm not old enough to know, I, I but like, I know. I, I, I like how you just, wada, 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 wada. Well, because at first I saw, I read what, and I go, what, what? And then I was like, damn it, I get it. <laughs> Halfway through now. Um, so. Do you think oldest 13-year 25th anniversary will be worth the $250 price tag? I don't know. Probably. I don't even want to say yes, because some of those are Probably really good. not. But some are good. But, man, like the, the 15 problem. that we had was like one of the best ones we had. Yeah. The ones that we've had samples of, the 16 years, like the red labels, those have been phenomenal. Yeah. Um, like some of the nine-year ones, not great. Uh, the newest eight-year, pretty good, actually, weirdly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Garrett had it and gave it to me in a blind, and I think it came in second. Really? And I was like, what? I couldn't figure out what it was. I go, I don't know what that is. I think Little Book Seven is the only thing that beat it. <sighs> Little Book Seven is fucking fire. Well, sir. And yeah. uh, when I when he showed me the old fits, I'm like, that's and she's are close. actually good. Thank you, everyone, for supporting our community. Really. So you guys are awesome. Adam McIntyre, like the Apple again, Macintosh himself. The Bourbon Lord pick lived up to the hype, dudes. Great model. Every single person we've given it to has loved it. Yes. Every and it's not ours. We didn't blend it. We didn't get paid for it. We didn't do any of those things. Yeah. We just fucking didn't, liked it. Yeah. Everybody being like, you're a shield. <laughs> like those fucking people, 
Not a dime. You know who paid us for that video? Just YouTube. Yeah. Only YouTube. Uh, that was it. Did I run an ad in that video? Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. A lot sure. of people watched it. That'd be um, a beautiful thing. Actually, I mean, literally, like two days ago, uh, we got an email from an ad agency that wanted us to run an ad and then eventually got the name of who they wanted us. It was a whiskey company. I said, we don't do that. We don't run ads for whiskey companies. We don't shill for whiskey. Just our own. Is that shilling? Is that it's promote, not shilling. That's called promoting. We're upside that's down. That's promoting. It's not shilling when you're upside down. Oh. It's not shilling when you're losing. Uh, it's only shilling when you're being paid. Um, so, hold on really quick. There was someone wondering. What the fuck is that? That's a scarlet rye. Is that, oh, is that one of yours? I just see orphan barrel uh, through the bubble wrap. We tried to give that away once. Nobody emailed us. I swear to God. <laughs> we gave that away on live stream. The person that wanted it didn't email us. I keep your shit. Um... The where was it? You guys gonna try the orphan barrel, Travis Mill? You guys gonna try the orphan barrel? Indigo's hour eighteen for two hundred plus. Nope. Would definitely yes. Would buy a hundred percent if we saw one. Wait what? It's not Dickel. Wait what? It's not. It was aged in Tullahoma. It's not Dickel. It was oh. not distilled in Tullahoma. I thought it was said it was. Nope. It's MGP. Oh. It's eighteen year MGP. I believe it's MGP. Right. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure it's not Dickel. I'm pretty sure it's MGP. I thought it was Dickel. It was moved. To Casco, Cascade Hollows or whatever. Yeah. It was never distilled there. It was never made there. It was just moved there. So it's somebody else's. How sure are you on that? A hundred percent. Guys, somebody tell me where that whiskey's from. Like where, like what's the, it says on the label. Jared O'Connor said Indigo's Hour is great. Just had it tonight. Yeah, it's not Dickel. It's not. I looked it up. Because you had told me you thought that it was. That was the only reason I looked it up. Because somebody said it was good. And I'm like, someone said it's Dickel. I thought it was. I think it says 18 year MGP, yeah. Right? Yeah. Daddy'd love to try that one. Was it 90 proof? They all are. Mm. Barter House is pretty good. That, I mean. Yeah. That's, I, we still believe that's it, though, right? Barter House? Yeah. No, Barter House is, where's Barter House? Brandon, you can get us one? Oh, fucking Brandon. I love that guy, dude. I think we still owe him for the. MGP, Asian Kentucky, bottled in Tennessee. I think we still owe him like 60 bucks for the other bottle. Brandon? Yeah. For That's the bullet? Bad. Yeah. Damn it. I'm sorry, dude. It, when he gave that to us, you it's just been no like idea. three weeks of chaos. Sean's creditors are calling me now. <laughs> <laughs> the $60. Hey, man, we just saw that you worked with this guy. Yeah. Could you break his kneecaps for yeah. us? Oh. That's the that's a twenty million that I owe in sports bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's a different thing entirely. That's just I was actually Shoei Otana's <laughs> fucking oh. um, manager. Ops has a bullet twelve year right now. <laughs> Room Mavlar. Did I win? I have no idea, dude. Luke's figuring it out. Okay. Malvar. MFers had a barter house. Barter house is so good. Barter house special gal. <laughs> Chrissy, how much was it? What is the secondary on those? Was it? Okay, what's this one? Bourbon. I, I guess bourbon. I stick with my first guess. I get like a weird caramel corn note. Oh. I like it. Like a darker. I stick with the Jack Daniels thing. Okay. I don't have a guess. Uh, there's just like a slight little twang in there I, for I me. I like that guess. It's, uh, that's, that's probably uh, my favorite of the three. Yes, same. The, uh, right, I would be second. The, the American single malt, it was good. Not my favorite. Oh, buddy, we're shit. We're just shit at this. First one? Not a rye. Wait, okay, what's on the bottom of these? Oh, thank God. B. <sighs> They're out of order. That's great. Yeah. This, this one says B, too, which is a real issue. Oh, well, I can, well, we're right about. That's the one we think is single malt, so that's easy. That says yep, B. That's easy. Okay. This I just one, need to know these two. That says we B. Know one of Does them this say malt. something different? Yes. A. We have ABB. All right. Um, ADHD whiskey. MGP aging at Cascade Hollow is like if Will Smith was born and raised in Bel Air, then moved to West Philadelphia. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's really good, buddy. Love Tommy the D, you're fucking beautiful. We dude. did. I'm sorry. I saw it. I would have never done that to you. I want you to know that. And I don't want to blame Sean. I just want to say I would never do that to you. Cheers, fellas. I was in the shower when you mentioned this. Yeah, you're right. How is it possible an almost 40-year-old just now learned how to use matches? Okay, first off, put some respect on my fucking age. I'm nowhere near 40, okay? Not even halfway through my 30s. Second off, I have no idea. I think it's because I've used lighters my whole life, apparently. Yeah. 
I mean, I've used matches and always thought these things are. Every time you go to like a cigar place or like Wild Bill, you buy cigars and they Never go, once, "Do you want matches?" And I literally go, "No," every time. And then I go, "Who the fuck uses them?" Jason Holbrook uh, in Virginia. Everyone figured out the secret of John J. Bowman single barrel bourbon whiskey. Bow chicka wow wow. <laughs> I love, I love that. I love that Holbrook's over here. Every super chat is just a, just fucking sound effects, sound effects, yeah. sound effects, sound effects. And he's typing the sound effect, which makes it way better because then we read it. Well, how else do you read it or type a sound effect? You don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's closed <laughs> captioning like a fucking Snoopy episode or whatever that show is called. Charlie Brown, whatever his name is. Chrissy has a message for you. Chrissy, what'd you say? Hey Dan, <laughs> fuck you, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, that's the Christian we all know and love. Nothing wrong with 40 after July 7th. Yeah, what was wrong with it before July 7th? Gotcha. <laughs> all right. So anyways, all right. Sample beef. This is definitely be for real. Maryland. Not second word. Epic Reserve. Maryland. Don't know. No. Rye whiskey. It's 100% rye. Pot distilled. 100 proof. Okay. More than four years. Baltimore spirits can. We thought that was hot. Out. We both thought that was cast rank, 95.5. I did think it was cast rank. Mm-hmm. I did say it was soft, but I also thought it was cast rank. Put proof. We're good at this. All right, cool. Move on. Clearly. Single malt. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, we don't know which is which. We have no idea. No. It's not. I thought it was single malt. It doesn't say single malt. Do you want to hand it an adult? No, I'll the read the rest of it. Or are you going to well, figure it out? one of these two are... Also, Middle West straight rye whiskey, dark pumpernickel, four to five years, cast strength. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. This one's hot. So it's this one. This is Middle West. You sure? Uh, buddy, that's 125 proof. And we both said that this one's proofy as hell. All right. Yeah, that's fair. That one didn't drink like a 130 or 125. 100, though? Not 125 point. Not 124.48. All right. What's A? The only thing we were okay at. <laughs> Forgate, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Finished in a new toasted cask by Kelvin Cooperage. Cast strength single barrel. It was a short barrel. It's seven years old and 123. This was the hottest one. Wow. I would have guessed um, that, this that one, one was. This one immediately hit me. I was like, whew. We're up to 79. Ours says 103 we watching. guys. YouTube is getting rocked right now. Step your game up. We have a whole 103. Rye 3? Hey, I haven't tuned in for many live streams, but I've followed your guys' journey for a couple years now. Keep putting out great content. Can't wait to grab some of your whiskey eventually, too. Thank, Thank you, you, buddy. Echo FPS 10. You got to get those frames up, buddy. You got to get those frames up. Oh, you guys are all at 200s. Ours is so low. Ours is at 103. Yeah, none of those things. Rob said yeah, I count as negative 5. I like that four <clears throat> one. Yeah, no kidding. That Maryland Epic one reminded me of a really soft 95.5. That's really crazy. 100%. Um, <clears throat> when I first had it, I was thinking High West. Oh. Yeah. And then I was like, I don't think it's like the finished proof or anything. The proof would have fit is yeah. interesting. And then it was like, oh, that feels like a little bit more proofy. It is very spicy, but it's a rye. Should have kicked some, apparently, a lot a little, down. A little out, yeah. Yeah. Um, I like that. Different. This is Good. already. This forget is my favorite one for sure. Has Dan bought any New Balances yet? No, dude, I'm not seventy. Four hundred for the Barter House in January on MFers. That's not bad. I mean, it's really. Listen, I know it's a lot of money. It's also twenty year old whiskey. That's yeah, very good. Um, very good. Sentimental. I think that's Buffalo Trace. I thought know? Barter House was Buffalo Trace before it was, it was Buffalo Trace. Is I that th- Stitzel kind of? Yeah, it I, might I, be. I thought it was Stitzel Stocks. It might be. If I'm being honest. I know that Lost Profits, George T. Stag. Stop playing with your mic. You go blind. That's what Dan does. That's what Dan's been doing. And I'm not for. blind yet, dude. <clears throat> so you're a liar. Five years running, that <laughs> man has jerked off more mic stands than Joe fucking Rogan. And the funny part is, Sean's mic stand's in worse shape than mine. No, mine's great. You fixed it? Yeah. Anybody else sits there, it's a problem, by the way, though. Oh, anyone else is just stupid. No, no, no. Anybody else just adjusts it once and it goes, fwing, 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 just all over the... Uh... Oh, you fixed it. That thing was broke as shit for a while. You don't remember the fights you had with that thing? 
I do. There were there were late nights of arguing. We did some work with it. We did some yeah. therapeutic. We talked it the fuck out. Um, let's see. Barter House was two fifty on twenty twenty. I mean, it's not like they made any more of it. It was one twenty five so. retail. Yeah, there's just less bottles now than ever. They did re-release once. I think. Oh, was- hey, we're getting close. Mine says four sixty five now. Oh, we're catching up. All right. Dan's gonna die soon, so I am. Um, Luke, um, listen. email the people. Luke, are you, Luke? If you get an email from Luke, that means you won. That'll be the the denominator. That's a hundred percent the denominator, guys. I got Butter House for eighty dollars back in twenty fifteen. I thought that uh, I thought retail was like one hundred twenty five on that. <sighs> Gifted Horse was cheap as shit. Gifted Horse was like sixty five dollars, and it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Luke said we can pull it up and start reading. Man. Where, where did he put it? I don't I think he emailed it. Well, that's your personal email. Yeah. Only fans, only fans, only fans. A lot of charges on All there. All dudes, though. Yeah. Just trying to support the dudes out there. That's fair. Oh, I uh, emailed Rockwell and said we're passing on that one. I said, I get it. Yeah, because they were a dickheads. Yeah. Otherwise, everything was cool. I don't see anything with Luke in there. Luke, I know that you're in the middle of some shit. <laughs> but. Why did that complete to sexdungeons.com? All right, dude. Because, because, dude, it's a Dungeons and Dragons website, all right? <laughs> Got really into the movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. I got an email from Luke that a prince in a foreign country needs money, says Zach Jones. <laughs> Zach, if you don't reply to it, you're an idiot, dude, because that guy's just going to give you so much money someday. Oh, we're in Nick's Discord, too. Yeah. Hey, Nick. There are some weird, Do better. weird pictures in there his are. Discord. That, that is a weird Discord. That feels like a dark. That feels like the dark web. That feels like a rabbit hole. Yeah. Did you imagine being Nick and leaving something logged in here? Wild move, dude. I think he's credit cards logged in anywhere on Discord. I think he cares. <laughs> I can get me a couple fucking butter houses too. Yeah, there you go. All right, guys. I'm just going. I'm not going to tell you what you won because it's going to take a long time. <laughs> should I? Should I tell? Okay. Do you want to know what you won or no? <laughs> I think it's more like a fucking uh, surprise. Luke will tell them what they won, right? Yeah. I kind of feel like I got it, don't I? I'm gonna have to read this bottle list out no matter what. This is like this is actually Luke said I need the time. We could ju- you everybody that won is gonna get an email. Ten fourteen. That that's the that, Luke doesn't have to read a clock now. Why? <laughs> Cam says you gotta. Guys, you know you're gonna get an email that you won and what you won. Like this is actually this is just Fan service. What is it called when you like? Oh, I get it. Somebody? I need the time to like do things. I see what he's saying now. Oh, you thought he meant the clock? I need the time. Like, You're but it's ten fourteen. You're so no. dumb. That's the dumbest thing you've said today. I like the, I'm bring, t- the more I'm time I down. get, I'm, I'm bringing gonna... it down. Dude. That's what it is. I'm exhausting your brain. Yeah. Cam said, "Don't argue." Hey, Cam, grow. All right. So, anyways, <laughs> that was so good, man. That was so good. Lip service was the term I was looking for. Thank you, Travis. All Holy right. shit. Dude, that might be my favorite thing I've ever said in my life. All right. I'm not going to... How about this? I'm not willing to say the number in front of the, the person who's won. When I stop, the list is over. Okay? So I, you're going to read it in order? Yep. I'm going right. to read it in order. The, and I'm only going to say this once. The first person that won. The next person I name is going to be the second, and then the third, so on and so forth. Are we ready? 1792 bib, pick Jason Finberg. Feinberg, I'm sorry. You're fine as hell. Chrissy, stop acting. Chrissy just texted me and said, already a new phone, LOL. Yeah. How dare you? You know how I know Dan gets a new phone? We get an email. <laughs> oh, that every time. A new uh, phone is logged in. I have read those in five years, probably 13 fucking times. Oh, in two years, probably four or five. All right. Next person. 1792 FP pick. Full proof. Hey, Feinberg's in here. Tim Beerman. Berman. Bearman, actually. Bear that's how it's spelled. It's like Man, a Bear South Park. That is a Pixelate Pro. I miss reading 
patron names. This brings it back. Um, buddy, I'll pull them up for you. Uh, I think by the time I'm done with this, I'll be tired. You get about 3,000. We can do it again next Tuesday. Yeah. All right. 1792, sweet it wheat. <laughs> sweet it wheat? Shane Garb. Gillis. It's like, that's, no, that's not how you spell that. 2XO Boondle. Bundle? Luke DeWald. Very similar to the tools. DeWalt? Blanton's pick. Brad Walling. Congratulations. Blue Run High Run Bourbon. Eric Grant. What the fuck did... Dude, I'm getting wild mess. Eric, I'm going to read Everyone this out Everyone knows loud, you're dude. literally looking at your phone now, right? Eric now. Hartnett said, I'll, I'm going to blow your spot up. You send me shit. <laughs> I'll send you feet pictures if you don't read my name. That's what he just messaged <laughs> me. Blue Run Pick, WT101, Will It Finished, Deer Camp Bundle. Porter Nay. Wait till you try Deer Cam. That shit will change your life. It's not a pick, and it is not real, but it tastes incredible. Yeah, it's pretty fucking good. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It, it's I incredible. Was, we, I, it had a duct tape label when yep. I had it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, B- Buffalo Trasse pick. <laughs> Richard McGruder. Chris Ron said, got any steak juniors left? Cam from Drums and Drams said, Matt Madness Loser 2024, Dan <laughs> Shuck. All right, Cam. Hey, Matt Madness Loser 2023. Cam fucking Drams, dude. Cam Drams, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see. What are, where are we at? I'm losing my fucking... I don't know where I'm at. Magruder. Yeah. Luke, I'm glad you needed time. We found it. Uh, you, Magruder. Bull Run, 13-year BS America Whiskey. Bull Run or Blue Run? Bull this right. time. Chris Morton. Copper Sky Seven Year Bourbon, Texas Whiskey Crew. Brent Weaver. Copper Sky Stagfish Rot, Texas Whiskey Crew. Adam Wrecking Angel. <laughs> Had funny. Let me see that. Yeah, that wasn't <laughs> it, dude. Wait, Where are we like uh, that, that, that wasn't it. It was Wrecking Noggle. Wrecking Noggle. Yeah, there you go. Not Wrecking Angel. <laughs> Eagle Rare Pick, Brad Smith. Eagle Rare Pick 375, William Pumphrey. Oh, that is my favorite last name I've ever said in my life. Pump not for free. Pump free. Yeah. What are you going to do tonight? Pump free. Pump, yeah. pump free. All right. ECBP B523. Depending on if you're a lucky man or woman, Cam's favorite laser code, Tyler Springer, is his small batch. Mario Kahu. He's Mario. Is oh. literally just like that. Also, spot on impression, if I do say so myself. Oh. Uh, one of the Night Stalkers, Kyle Jett. One of the Night Stalkers. Oh, I got feet pics coming. Bradley Adcock. Uh, Evernorth Spirit. You read one of those names? Nope. <laughs> nope. Evernorth Spirit Sample Pack. Rich Palaria. 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 Ford Slash Rhapsody Straight Bourbon Whiskey Pick. Okay, when I say forward slash, I swear to God, it says forward. forward There's slash. a forward slash, and then yeah, it's that, that slash. Yeah, that is literally a name. Someone posted a picture of the bottle in Discord today, and it's okay. like a forward slash. Tracks. Yeah. Drew Kritzweiser. And I pronounced that correctly, which is impressive. Mm. Hard True Sweet Mash Rye Pick. Brian Romy. <laughs> what? What was that first name? I thought it said Brad. It said Brian. I just, I had to mix it up in the middle. Henry McKenton, your bib. But you thought it was Brad, and it ends in D. So even if you speed read past, you should read the first and last letter. No, it's not fucking. Oh, I don't read first and last letter. I read, read first two to three, and I'm done. <laughs> I saw BR, and there's an A somewhere in there because it's Brian with an A. B R Y A N. That's not Brian. It's not real, Brian. It's like when, oh, my gosh. I was on the phone with Caroline today, and she goes, hey, spell Sean's name for me. And I go, it's oh. the easy one, S-E-A-N. She goes, all right, thanks. And I'm like, it's wild how many people get it wrong. Yeah. A million. It, people get it wrong more than right when they send us messages. It's the Irish say, version. What is? S-E-A-N? Yeah. It's also the dumbest. Like, it's that's the, the Irish most version simplistic. of John. J-O-H-N? Yeah. That's the Irish version. What's the Sean. American version John. of John? John. John exists in both places, dude. I know, but in Ireland, they use the, the, the name like Sean. That would be pronounced They say like, Sean? Yes. I can call you Sean. No. Oh, it's a whole new world, dude. You might yeah. as well call Aladdin. And get <laughs> Jafar on the phone. Henry McKenna, 10-year bib. Brian Tracy, BT himself. Great guy. Love him. <laughs> Dan trying to speed read names at 10 words per minute. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> High West Double Rye. Malbec Monster. 
Adam McIntyre. Hey, you've read that name like 15 My times. My Apple man. Jack Daniels, Todd Tyler. John J. Bowman, singer, bro. Gary Raines Jr. You should sing country music. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lucky seven jokes for the last batch. Andrew Allen. I'm related to a that. lot of Allens, by the way. Iverson? Uh, no, not so much that one. <laughs> no, no, height. The height doesn't track. Uh, New Holland. Allen we, Iverson's not that tall. You know that, right? I know. I was. I thought you'd just go with the skin color. It was a farther differentiator. Because I'm you a white guy. Height. <laughs> and I went with height. That's why I thought it was funny. Uh, New Holland Wheat Whiskey, seven-year-old, <laughs> old whip line pick. Whip. Jared Lesher, our boy. New Riff Bourbon Junk pick. Oh, you better hope to Jesus it's the second one. Whoever name I'm about to call, if you get New Rift, tell them you don't need it. The best one. Tell hey, them you're if good. you don't need it, send it to tell me. Tell them you're good. Christopher Atkins. Is he related to the A.A. Ron we know? A.A. Hey, Ron. Do you have any Christophers in your family? What if it's just what him if it's under him? a different name? <laughs> OGD114, Wes Harvey. Old Elk Bourbon Single Barrel Pick. Daniel Barres. Oh. Penelope Luke Bourbon. A second. Penelope Bourbon four grain barrel strength. All right, buddy. I'm just, <laughs> listen, guys. This is not often Dan takes a break to apo- pre apologize. Yeah. I'm gonna say sorry. Let and me, I, let me let me this read is it. A, with all due let respect. Let me read it before you go. It's a very with all Which due respect. Which one res- is it? It's the last one. The very last one? Is it with all due respect name read? Yeah, buddy. There ain't no way. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Mamuka, <laughs> Rosmadaz. <laughs> I just—he's close. <laughs> buddy, I'm as close as I'm getting. I just barely speak fucking English, dude. Don't judge me a lot, Jared Lesher. Well, type, I'll be type that name voice. in chat. Luke did. There, there you, go. you go. Yep. And then, oh, Luke, there's still so many left. <laughs> Chrissy said, "That's me." <laughs> Chrissy, shut up. You're such, you're so full of shit, Chrissy. Oh, Cheech said that's my boy. Hey, there you go. All Tell right. him. Hey, listen, I said with all due respect, and I said I'm sorry, and I did. <laughs> I took me a while. I literally took my time. On I, that. that is a, you know, I'm gonna. The pass has been given. You've you've read some very normal names poorly, very poorly yeah. in your time at uh, like the patron reads. Yeah, that one. You know what? That one's harder. Let me give you a pass on that one. That. Uh, Eric sent me a picture of his foot <laughs> and said, busted feet after 22 years in the military wearing steel toe boots. Sure fucking did. And then said, roll the dice if you must. His uh, his toe is still straighter than mine. Buddy, his toe literally looks like a hand doing this. Oh, my! both of my big toes, I yeah. broke them so much, I just go like this. Man, you're fucking wild, dude. Ran my feet into a lot of things, apparently. It ain't good. <laughs> That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Ran my feet into a lot of things. It's yeah. the craziest thing you could possibly say okay, to somebody. buddy. Clayton he said, tell Casey hi for me. What's up, Casey? I hope you're having a great night. All I can think of is Brian Casey when I see that. Whiskeychill.com. Foot fetish junkies. Oh, it's raining. Pouring. Remember when I used to have, have to put my phone on the roof of the hut so yeah. we could have internet? You know, I thought and then it was going to flood. Oh. It might. Yeah. I have the door thing kind of in there. Mm. It's a little. It's just going to flood around. It's th- like not even in there. I think right? it's helped. It has helped. Because it hasn't happened again yet. And all that Dan's snow got a real low there. spot out yeah, here. Right in front of the door. Whoever <laughs> the fuck put the cement in was an idiot. I did not wear a foam helmet growing up. More than halfway there can always make Sean read some. There's Wait, no more but... in here. There's no more to read. Is this not update live update. on my phone? Update. Update. Names are all Dan. Oh, it wow. Google Sheets on your phone doesn't show you edits. I had to refresh it to get the new name. Really? I'm sorry. I was waiting. I thought Luke wasn't done. All right. When are you hiring Jared? Can't afford him. Rare Care already tried to hire him in that video, and he said he'd come back once a month. And I would imagine after two months, he'd be like, you guys are fucking idiots. He meant for free, too. He's like, I'll come back once a month. We're like, "Mm, don't do that. Please don't do that. I love him. 
I do love that man. If he wants to come back once a month and hang out. Oh, he can come up. as He's always welcome. Yes. I still want to waste his time or money. 100% that. Rare character, 15-year exceptional. Congratulations, Andrew Smith. Who's, whose pick is that? Don't It doesn't say. Uh, River Roots Rye, the small boys pick. That's <laughs> drums and drams for those who are wondering. <laughs> Stuart Mitchell. <laughs> Russell's uh, reserve pick. Zach Haddon. Sagamore six-year bottled and bond. Clarence Reber. Sample packs, one through ten. I'm going to read ten names in so a row. So that's from uh, Justin's House of Bourbon. So that could have been Emerson's bottle. So if that is Emerson's bottle, it's got like a purple wax on it. We had that on the Buffalo Trace pick. Holy fuck, is that good. So, so good. Okay, these next ten names are sample packs, okay? Yeah, just sample pack one through ten. John Doctor, Dorothy Nequin. Plicense. My gosh, I'm so sorry. But you went Corey, from John Doctor <laughs> to yeah. I don't know what you just said. To a name with a hyphen in it, dude. Corey Pascal, like an artist or something. Keegan Reedy, Matthew Porter. Oh. His name's Matthew. And I even say that all the time, but reading it felt different. But it's not. It's the Jordan thing. Mike Golick, dude. <laughs> oh, I got halfway through gone and went... Reel it in now. Stop. Oh. <laughs> Immediately stop saying the name. <sighs> okay. Dr. <laughs> Quinn Medicine. <laughs> Jacob Rorick. Like the, the Rorick. What is the? Rorschach. Yeah, Rorschachs. Um, Zachary Kipley. Jeremiah Schmidt. Jerry Burton. You all have samples. Packs. Um, Essence Bourbon Barrel Thieves pick. Shane Perry. Virtue Spirit Sample Pack. Richard Rack. <laughs> Probably has all of them. W.B. Saffle. Gary Heisler. Weller Antique 107. Jared Fentress. Guys, we're almost done. There's three left. Weller Special Reserve. Jody Gates. Whistle Big Six here. Piggyback Ride. Texas Whiskey Crew pick. So sorry to Tyler Morosco. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. So sorry. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Over there without a cap. I broke the cork, but it is good. Um, Bardstown, no, I, not the one you're going to get. The one you're going to get is not the one that not we... Not that one. That was the that one that one. Nick brought us and gave us. Um, Bardstown Four Grain Single Barrel called Total Eclipsed. David, a.k.a. Dave, light wheeze. Like a beer. That's it. That was 51 of them, folks. Wait. I did a good job. Why do I know that name? Because he's always in, he's been in chat for five, four years. Yeah. yeah. What, what's his handle? It's something cat-related. What? Dave Lightweeze. That's what, like, like the, like the, you recognize the spelling. Yeah. No, no, no. You, like, who am I thinking of? A cat handle? Mm -hmm. He's always talking about the cats. Everybody's always talking about the cats. Yeah. Linux cat? Yeah, is that who Think I'm thinking of? Cat? Maybe. Linux cat? That would be the cat guy. Yeah. Well, the cat handle. Yeah. That'd be, that wouldn't be Dave. I thought that was him. Is it? I thought it was. Please mention that. We'll be emailing them for their shipping info. Luke, I've mentioned that 74 times, dude. And if we don't get your info, we keep your shit. Well, no. It, it, Luke's no. emailing. You, you, you have to respond to Luke. You won't receive Don't your email us for this. Ugh. We it's, don't have all of them. Cookie outside. Poor man. He was in here. He was in here earlier. When we were setting up. But you when walked, you were in here you walked up, out to grab stuff. I don't know if he followed I'm you. I'm about to find out. He won't help me by the door if he's outside. We're going to go find out if Cookie Cat is in here or not. <laughs> not in here, dude. That, that's your... Yeah, he'll come when you do that. Oh, well, Von Cookie. He was at the door. Told you he does that. Will you meow him? He meows back. Meow. It's a communication method. Meow. Meow. Nothing. Oh, he's looking at us, though. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, are these guys on drugs? Dude, if you... Meow. Come on, dude. You're going to leave me high and dry on this live stream like that. Um, oh, he's over our shit already. He's like, you guys left me in the fucking rain. He was in the saloon. saloon. He meowed. He was in the, the saloon doors nice open, buddy. so he's good. Uh, Come here. What up, bro? Are you even wet? No. That's a dry cat. Yeah, he, he stays in there because we leave that door open. Yeah. Come on up. Do it. Um, There's the cook cat. Yeah, let's see how dry he is. Uh, he's always shiny. So Eva is a little stupid, and <laughs> she's happy. If though. you bark at her, I, I, 
I just gotta say, she's a happy she's dog. So happy. She's just like Knox. The um, if you bark at her, it blows her fucking mind, she dude. She looks at you. She dead stop. She will be like playing, wrestling, chasing a ball, and you go roof, and she goes, and then she just dead stops and is like fucking <laughs> will like head crock sideways, and then if you bark enough, she'll come back to you. Lay it down. That's how I call her sometimes Chill when I'm out, out in the wilderness. I'm like, my neighbor thinks I'm a fucking crazy person, dude. Just lay down, cookie cat. Do it. Be a cat. Do it. Be a guest. Oh. Luke. Everybody, huge shout out to Luke. Yeah, for doing all of this. Yep. This is all him. Luke put it all together. Executed the plan. Thank you to everyone that donated. Yes. Uh, thank you to everyone that uh, put in bottles for said auction. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. Love you guys. Hey, uh, Luke said, taking sorry, care of the community. Luke said, sorry to Dan for having to read words. I appreciate the apology. Um, I think it's more fun. That was a fun time, dude. Actually, reading the bottles, I don't think anybody gave a shit. And when, when it was all said and done, about three bottles in, it was more of a name thing. Yeah. So There were a couple good ones in there for some you. Some good ones, dude. There were some really good ones. But um, thank you guys for helping people out. Always 100%. when we do anything like this, we appreciate the hell out of this community. You guys are the mm. absolute best. Number one ever, no matter fucking what. Ride or die community. We yeah. love it. The whiskey the tube community too. is always very giving. Um, yeah. I mean, that is the don't you do it. Don't you do it. He claw my face and I bopped him in the head. Yeah, he got to. He went like this with his claw out and I went, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? And I swear to God, he just looked, he looked at me. He looked at you like, what? He's like, what is your fucking deal? Um, no, our community has always been very ride or die, very giving, and like that's what whiskey's about, is just fucking enjoying a common ground and enjoying some uh, spirits with one another. Just chilling so, with each other. Yeah. Um. Thank you all. Yeah. Love you. Dan's going to go home and die. I'm going to pass the fuck out. That's what he told me. I'm so tired, and I don't... I, like, can't stay hydrated. I will say... Today is the first time in I don't know how long I slept past 8 a.m. Really? With no alarm? Gabby walked in at like 9 and goes, pretending to sleep in here, huh? I go, what? <laughs> dude. dude. <laughs> IVs, Dan. I'm not, I don't, I'm not getting an IV, dude. You need a Helix mattress to sleep better? No, no, no. It's not a sleep issue. I don't know what the fuck it is, dude. I got on these airplanes and sat next to sick people. Dude, you should have sat next to me. That guy in the you know last I, plane. No, you know who I think it really was? I get on the first plane, and the guy next to me is wearing a mask. And then, and I'm like, oh, okay. I don't trust you, sir. Like, he just feels like he needs to wear a mask. I'm yeah. like, whatever, whatever makes you feel comfy. I don't give cough, a fuck. Cough, right? cough, 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 cough. And then he goes, claw, claw, claw. And I'm like, keep the fucking tighten it. You know what? Get away from hey. me right now. To That's, that guy for wearing a mask, though. Yeah, except I'm sick. Yeah, but... Three I, okay. days later. Yeah, yeah, hear me out, though. Like, that's the point. Like, it's such a, like, a, a non-thing in Asian culture to, like, wear a mask when you're sick. Listen. Go back to your fucking house. Hey, maybe he's doing things. He's got a life. Me he's too. Got a, he's got a family to support. Me too. Yeah. I'm over here sick as shit, dude. Not really. I was for a day. There was one... There was a shaky day in there. It was bad, dude. Ricky looked at me and she's like, you think you're going to be okay? And I, go, I don't fucking know right now. <laughs> My eyes were like this and I was just had the worst headache. Dan doesn't need CPAP. I was on 74 fucking pills so that does Klein. Klein actually does. Klein definitely Klein stops either. breathing. I don't stop breathing. I snore a lot as fuck. Yeah. Klein does not you breathe. You need a surgery to do whatever. I got a big tongue. Fat tongue. Got a girthy gal in there. I'll take a couple inches off for you, buddy. Girthy gal in there. Not a lot of room for other stuff in that mouth of mine. Including air. <laughs> Including air, dude. Yeah, I got a man. You gotta cold. open it real wide. Klein definitely needs to go get uh Klein, test yeah, He stops breathing. On couches. So just fly right. private. So easy to do. So cheap. <laughs> we'll we'll buy into the uh the RD1 chat. Hey, who said that? Hey, Fritz, we don't fly first fucking class, buddy. We buy... <laughs> we sit in economy. The Not even Comfort Plus. We buy the uh, the back of the plane jet. We don't even do exit rows, bitch. Oh, I did, I did get an exit row Sometimes. I did on the, on the last back. one. But I had the really big one. Oh, you did? Yeah. The guy next to me No was... one sat next to me because you, that was supposed to be your yeah. seat. No one sat next to me. I had an exit row seat. Best flight of my hey, life. Why do they do that? Why are they reassigning tickets at the gate? 
She didn't give me the paper, which clearly would have had my up that seat next to you on it. Yeah. She, his paper said my ticket on my app. Yeah. Which didn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. And then she walks up to me and she goes, you're supposed to sit there. And yeah. I was like, I don't care. Though. Oh, she said that to you? Yeah. Yeah. And I go, I don't. Should I don't, have. I don't care. That was the big extra No, no, row. not next to you. Oh. She told me I was supposed to sit where that guy was sitting. Oh. And I go, I don't care if I'm in the window or aisle. It's a two-seat airplane. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It was a two-by-two. Two. And yeah. then she go, and then he looks at me, and he goes, I'll switch you. And I was like, I really don't care. And then she goes, do you have your ticket? He hands her his ticket, says the same thing as the app I showed her on my phone. And she goes, I don't know. Did I give you a piece of paper? And I go, no. And she goes, I'm not sure then. She left. She just walked away. She gave up at her job on that day. That's fair. Like, fucking So, but Delta, every dude. other flight, I was literally the last row. That was fun. Chrissy, we and that one shit flight Delta. that we had, I looked at the guy next to me, and we were shit whipping because it was 400 mile per hour gust. I looked at him and go, we had a silent conversation. It was, we're going to fucking die. This is it. We looked into each other's souls. It was about a one second look, and we had a 45 minute conversation. <laughs> like one of those looks. <laughs> Dude, that that plane was oh, whipping, gosh. and in the back, that was the one that you died on. That was the first plane. Mm. What? Yeah. No, no, no. The one you're in the back was that the was one the I second was. One. I had fallen asleep in the airport. Yeah. Oh, everybody wants to know why my pants were rolled up on Patreon. First off, that fucking fashion is in number one. Not Man how brain? I showed yeah. up that way. Yeah. Was how I was wearing them in their airport because I vomited walking through the airport into a bag. Um, the pants. And then I, as I'm walking into the bathroom, because I couldn't get to the bathroom, and I'm holding the bag, and I'm going, what? As I walk by people, and the bag is filling with, you know, vomit. And then I get into the bathroom, and right before I get in the stall, I go, Bleh! and it's all in my mouth, dude. And as soon as I open the stall door, I just go Bleh! into the toilet like that. Got on my pants. So they were rolled up because there was vomit on them, you fucking assholes. That's why I went and, well, oh, Cookie's making this room now. That's why I went and bought Dan pants because I felt bad for him. And there was vomit on them. Yeah. Um, yeah, it had to be that second flight then that we were in the back. Yeah, you were on the very back because I yeah. texted you. I'm like, why does my seat feel like it's leaning forward? And you're like, I'm against I'm the, the wall. Back, yeah. I'm on the wall. Uh, we're sitting like this. Yeah. Um, why were those seats like I, that? I look, I don't know. I look at the guy next to me and go, can't get farther back. The stewardess goes, you got to have my seat. She's sitting about a foot behind That's me. Wild, dude. You go. We flew on the shittiest probably Delta planes I've probably ever been on in my life. Yeah, those are bad Delta flights. Those were not good. And then they let us sit in our airport for 12 hours on the way home. So that was cool. Fucking Delta. And then they sent an so email the, to me that said, how was our customer service through your interruption? That guy was very mm. calm, very good. Don't care. I about sent an email back that said, I hope that you guys fuck yourselves <laughs> until you are out of business. Like, swear to God, dude. At, those were the most expensive flights we've ever bought, and they were the worst flights we've ever so had. So very quickly, I'll do the TLDR. Um, we literally went to bed at like 1230 the night before, woke up at 5.40 to get to the airport for our first flight. We get there. The airport's still not moving, and it was supposed to be almost gate-closing time. I go, what the fuck's going on? I had my headphones on. I was, like, not listening at all. I, like, I just pay attention to lines. Um, Dan goes, yeah, they, they put an announcement up that, like, emergency lights aren't working or something. I'm like, oh, Okay. They come over and go, all right, we're going to be delayed three hours. I go, fuck, man. They said they could fix the lights in three hours. They said, worst case, we'll get a rescue plane here within three hours, and they will take the everyone, and we'll go. Up. All right, cool. I walk to, there's a Dunkin' Donuts in the Lexington Airport, down to go get a sandwich. I'm in line. My phone goes off. I look. It goes, delayed to 6 p.m. I go, well, that's different. 6.48. <laughs> Grab a sandwich, waddle on down. It was in 7.30. Line. Yeah. Like, All right, cool. We get up there. They go, here are the options. None. We, almost none. But the best one was getting an Uber or a Lyft from the airport in Lexington to Louisville. An hour and a half away. Yep. Uh, it was a 90-minute uh, Lyft. And then we would wait until 1.40 to get on a plane to get to Detroit and then get back at like 5.45. I looked at Dan and I go, well, if we get a fucking car, uh, neither of us have, has slept great. I was, I'd already taken two full drinks. So two he was folds. falling asleep standing up. Standing up. And I was like, I oh, I'm tired. Eyes. I go, oh, fuck it. It, it. it saved like two hour, two and a half hours, I think. 
Hey, bud. Hey, not on camera. Like, Jeez, any, that's not only in my dance face, shit. dude. Like anywhere it else. It would have been two and a half hours if we would have just drove. I know. It's so much less stressful to just fly at this point. I literally looked at the guy and I go, can you just get us to Detroit? Yeah. Because Cause we could make it to Detroit to home. I have to sleep. Like, yeah. I'm in a, I cannot keep my eyes. I slept the 90 minutes to Louisville. Yeah, I slept near. the entire lift. I, I probably got like a 15 minute cat nap in Man, there. I, I was dying. I thought that guy was going to kill us. The reason I took X, I took more dramming than I normally take because I'm like, I can't do what I did on the way here again. I can't live through that twice. And so I took extra dramming, which makes me fucking pass the fuck out basically. And we were just, it wasn't, we, we were in like the most fucked up situation where it was like, we can't safely drive seven hours right now. Like yeah. neither of us can. And they can't get us home for the next 12. Yeah. And they're like, also, you're going to have to get in a car to go. T- I would have just ripped so like dumb, three dude. Red Bulls and been like, all right, let's fucking do this. I was like, if we cancel our flights right now, if we cancel these flights, does Delta reimburse us for the flights? Because they were so expensive. And the guy was like, they'll reimburse you for the flights you haven't been on yet. And I'm like, that just fucking pissed me off. And then I'm like, okay, if we cancel the flights, does Delta pay for the rental car that we have to drive to get home? And the guy goes, no, because technically Delta can can get get you you home on the same day. Yeah. I was like, doesn't really fucking feel like it, does it? So. So we got home at 6 o'clock, give or take, like to our doors. Oh, I don't even know. And then I live streamed at 9 on Cigar Dojo. Yeah. You had to go to Evernorth to get a... I had to literally go to Evernorth to get that. Thank AB God. Pick. At least the airport's relative. It is. That airport's relatively close. Um, to get that still. bottle, get home, and then chill for like two hours and then set up for a live stream. And he's like, Want to know what the worst? So if you guys watched that live stream and I was low energy, that'd be why. I put in chat, I said, everybody give Sean a round of applause for being here because it was a long fucking day. I wasn't even looking at chat. I was like, it was a hell day. And Sean's still on the stream. So I was like, everybody's got to give Sean some credit. The, um, but the dojo stream was a lot of fun, honestly. So you know what the worst part that day, because of how they spaced all our shit after the cancellation, I took six dramming that day. It's a lot of dramming. In one day. It is a lot. I was just, I got home and my eyes, I had to go to my Rocked. parents because that's where the kids were. Yeah. My eyes, and I was you that's, like holding your dream. My home. sinuses started to feel fucked that day. Okay. And I was like, man, I f- just feel like shit. You feel like shit being in an airport that long, no matter what. 100%. Like, I feel like shit. I've taken six Dramamine, damn near a bottle of Dramamine today throughout yeah. the day. Because every air, every plane was spaced out far enough except the last one. And I was, and because I took Dramamine, we didn't get on an airplane. And so I took more to get on that airplane. Yeah. And, and I was like, I, dude, it was. I, just, I was so fucking mad that day. I was in the worst mood ever. When I got home, I told Rick, I go, I'm sorry. I'm in a fucking awful mood <laughs> right now. I'm in such a bad mood. All right. Dan's dead. Yeah. Cheers, um, everybody. We love you. Thank you for being here. We caught up a lot tonight. Um, we'll be here next week. I you think. got a huge fucking mouth, dude. That was crazy. <laughs> Damn. Thank you guys for supporting <laughs> Cheech on the GoFundMe or GoFuckMe yeah. or whatever Dan said. Both. Um, appreciate you guys being here. We're both just very tired right yeah. now. Yeah, love you guys. Love you guys. See you Thursday. Uh, Watch the Thursday video.